So, before we begin, our final journey in Sagarok here. I want to first, of course, thank the show's partners and sponsors. Obviously, Paizo first and foremost, most of, uh, among them. It's their game, their adventure. It's fantastic. And it's thanks to them and their sponsorship. We can bring it to you here on the official Paizo Twitch channel. They're great. Yeah. I enjoy this. We have a good time here. I love it. Today, hopefully, will probably still be a good time. And not a cascade <laughs> of sorrow. We can only hope. We'll see. <laughs> it's fine. We're just going to roll 20s. Speaking of things that are going to get a lot of powerful use today, I got to shout out Sirenscape real quick. Uh, they provide all of the sound effects, the background ambiance, the spell uh, stingers and everything that we use throughout the show that really adds just a whole lot of immersion. I think now that we got the, the visual side of that going with the lighting here, we're really in the magma cave. You love to see it. And our newest partner, Norse Foundry. We have at least like... 300 of their dice. On we only have 7,000 Norse Foundry dice. Yeah. And they are glorious. Actually, ridiculous amount of their dice. It's it's getting silly. Um, the Lapis Malachite are more powerful than the code original. Code to perception. Except they're not. Over on the Norse Foundry website gives you 10% off of literally everything on the entire site. You can so see that code coming by on the bottom. But without further ado, as we left off last week, We've stopped Scarlet Emberbeard. We've stopped the Scarlet Triad's machinations. We have stopped the political undermining of the Dwarven City of Codler. What we have not stopped... The inevitable destruction. ...is yeah. a magma dragon who lives beneath the Temple of All Gods, who, for whatever reason, really wants Codler. We have heard from King Maliwan, the undead king of the city itself. There's rain since Sagarok fell to the orcs a millennia ago that most of the undead in the city now pledge their allegiance to her. You know, the mad tyrant who starved his people to death in a siege? That that guy? That guy, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah that guy. Is that <laughs> is that not worse than a dragon that wants to just set it all on fire? Roshin's not entirely sure, actually. That's At least fair. the dragon's honest. <laughs> <laughs> At least the dragon's honest. I mean, either All right. way. His intentions are fairly clear at I this point. I appreciate the honesty, Dragon. <laughs> Madcat 17 with a hero point for Marshall as we wind up here. Too. Thanks, Madcat. I'm definitely well. going to use this. <laughs> but beneath the Temple of the All Gods, we have found her lair. We know that she really is the linchpin of everything. All the forces coming together to destroy Kavla, the Scarlet Triad the Starved of Sagarok. They're all sort of under the umbrella that Stray Malura has spread here. If we don't stop her, well, Jewelgate's not going to be very valuable when it goes to a city that no longer exists. Jewelgate isn't valuable anyway. <laughs> it goes to a cave of murder rock. <laughs> it does. Not anymore. You, you it's inhabited. It will them. grow again. Eventually. It's inhabited by a murder worm. There's a worm. purple worm around it. <laughs> yeah, there is a purple worm somewhere. And, you know, there's a Gug Citadel that it kind of connects into that's very hungry. But it's the kind of thing that lives in the walls. As we come back in today, we had made our way into the dragon's lair proper. A massive underground tunnel. It is now deep enough beneath the surface of the world, not just deep enough for a dwarven kingdom beneath a mountain, but deeper yet still to where open, rolling pools of slow, bubbling magma flow very loudly through this chamber. It's a big change from the dead city of Sagarok you've been in for some days, which is near just silent as you travel throughout it. This constant, almost bubbling roar as this red flow moves unseen to some destination to the east. You're on a stone bridge, maybe 25 feet across. The only thing keeping you from the bubbling pool of death, some 30 feet below. Oh, sorry, 15 feet below. And as we left off, rising out from that pool, on your right as you come in, was a massive living volcano. A being seemingly sculpted of pure stone who towers up from the lava. Smoke and steam rising from an open caldera atop their head. No real visible features save for two burning red 
the slots seemingly eroded away crags in her stony visage. Who introduced an Ignan, which you apparently speak? Yes. Yeah. The rat who knows things. All things. And apologize that you could not proceed further. That's exactly where we'd stopped. Raz, tell him that uh, we appreciate uh, his hospitality and uh, we claim guest right. Uh, we would uh, appreciate uh, being allowed to uh, uh, take audience with him, and we promise not to do him any harm should he return the favor. That but an ignorant. Um, why can't we proceed? This chamber that I have found here beneath the surface layers of this world has been claimed by another. I am sorry, but my encroachment here is one she barely tolerates. And were it not for my demeanor, I certainly would have come to blows when I arrived. It is the least I can do as apology for my intrusion to warn off others seeking to do the same. I say that, but in common. Oh. And again, this You're voice- You're actually talking to it. This voice that rumbles farce with this, it literally does not sound like language. Obviously you can hear people speaking under common or dwarven if you don't speak, and it's clearly a dialect they're conversing but it's something you don't understand. But this, it almost just sounds like, like very gritty, bubbling utterances. It doesn't even sound like words or language. It sounds more akin to the noise the magma is making flowing through the chamber than it does speech. But Rez, the best he can with his tiny little rat mouth, is saying it back and it's like clearly a dialogue here. Uh, would you tell her that we're not here to intrude, that uh, we bring a gift and a message? Wait, what? We do? We do. We do? <laughs> Everyone seems confused. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not here to intrude. We're here to bring a message to Stramalorax. And she kind of reaches out one massive stone pillar of an arm. Much like the ones you see, or the one the Temple of All Gods is built out of nearly, and places a hand on the edge of this walkway in front of you. And just kind of leans forward a bit. <sighs> Who's a... Uh, Does he have indigestion? Make me a perception check. Rez or uh, really anybody, honestly. I feel like if you're not focusing on your ex your normal exploration activity right That's now and you're focusing kind one. of on this conversation, make me a perception check. Nope. <laughs> I rolled a hard one. I'm not much better. So, I don't really know what this is. You see is. her reaching out. You put her hands on a thing and she's 30. bending for it, making this deep rumbling noise and almost angling this caldera toward you is more of this hot, much seemingly thinner magma and what's below kind of spills out of it. 32? Raz is really focused on trying to remember how to speak this language. He rolled a 29. Roshin, though, mm. this seems a little different from the conversation here. This doesn't seem like speech. It's very odd, but you think it's laughing. Huh. <laughs> but is she... Kind of bounce on the shoulders of the best, yeah. Bows back up to look back at Rez. I am afraid this does not change my agreement with the Lady of the Cave. Though I would be remiss if I did not offer at least to curry this message on your behalf. What were the words of that agreement, Rez? Exact words. Raz is playing translator now. And she again kind of bends over. <sighs> the 
also tough indigestion or something. I think it's laughing. Are all those who walk this plane so mechanical in your thoughts and in your interactions? Must every conversation be denoted down to words of law? For, for Rosemary, right yeah. That, that's how her mind works. Me, honestly, I just kind of want to see the dragon. I've never seen a dragon in person before. I've seen pictures. And you all can now kind of tell. She thinks you are hilarious. She's she's honestly not sure you're serious. Like, this is <laughs> hey, the most amusing conversation this volcano has ever had. <laughs> like, I'm getting a small hint that she's not taking us seriously. She very much isn't. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of pivots her head to one side. Riding back up. Still, I would not seek to provoke the lady so. I am sorry. Well, it seems like she cares very much for protocol, or feels at least for, for friendship. Um, uh, perhaps we could tell her that, uh, that uh, the dragon is uh, threatening a rampage up in the dwarven caves, perhaps. Uh, Someone who cares so much about propriety and keeping words might find that objectionable. I mean, honesty is the best policy, I guess. Hey, what do you think about that? Uh, Raz, if you, if you wouldn't mind. I translate it word for word with the what you think about that at the very end. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, well, normally, Worst ambassador ever. Well, normally, <laughs> I let you're all here. I'd let whoever whoever would like to or has uh, the best in a situation roll a check for a group effort. But you are the only one here who can actually speak with her. It works out you're a bard, so hopefully this isn't terrible. I need you to make me a diplomacy check, Res. Can I assist? Do you wanna, I'll let you assist, yeah. You wanna roll it over yonder and the, the tray that has a camera on it. I know we kind of banish you to no camera land. Yeah, I don't know what, I'm gonna use the pretty one. Uh, roll Let's her assist. assistance first. Uh, that's going to be a, a thir- twenty or higher. Yeah, you're a master of diplomacy, right? I am a master. You get plus three to this. I am not a master. That's a twelve. That's twelve. Um, so what a fancy die! I know, right? Is that the glass thirty-three one? plus three, so thirty-six? The thirty-six, as she hears, she takes her hand off of the bridge and almost kind of squats down, bringing it again. This this conical shape that is her head down near level to the bridge. Her eyes down almost to meet the group of you as she looks across. You of this plane here dying in a death passing from this world. It's something very important to meet folk, yes? It, it's something most folk avoid for as long as possible. What is with all of these things calling us meat? What, 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 is, what is with that? This first Herald and now it's, well, it's technically it's, um, it's, it's, it's mostly because um, dying leaves pain for those who are left behind, which of course if the whole city of Kalvar burns, there probably won't be a lot of left behind, except for the merchants who come later and find the remains. Those people will be very, very sad. Gosh, but what's his name? Your spirits, your souls, they are part of a cycle unending. They are not simply gone, just one step further. Well, that's true in a way, yes, but when we're born anew, we don't remember that. We start like a blank. I don't have any blank books on me, I've written in all Do of them. Do you need to? Well, it's part of what makes us us. You get so many great stories from so many different people, from so many different perspectives that you wouldn't have if they all just remembered everything from the whole cycle from the beginning. I've talked to a lot of spirits, well, one spirit. Um, I mean, the stories were all the same from that one spirit's perspective. And they're interesting, but all the same. They get boring after a time. She puts her hands back on the bridge, both of them this time kind of to push herself up and you hear with this heavy weight on the side of this a bit of a rumbling and crack from the stone beneath her hands mm-hmm. as she stands herself back up 
You know who's happy to be flying in the air right now with Airwalk? <laughs> this guy. Very well. It seems that my arrival here has placed me behind the front lines of one of your many tireless wars. I had no intention of allying with one side versus the other, as I could perhaps never hope to understand why you always fight. But I will not interfere, and only hope that if the lady should triumph, he will understand my place of neutrality here. And takes a physical, massive step back from the bridge before raising one arm. Fingers, stubby, seeming a uncable of really even closing, almost stretched as far as they really can, like stalagmites towards the south. Did that work? Hey, hey Raz, what, what what was his name so we can thank him? Oh, yeah, we, I think we forgot to ask your name. That was rude. I liked. I liked. I liked. Thank you for the passage. And I'll come visit you later if we survive. All right. We're good. Good job, Raz. We're good. That's amazing. I yeah. don't know how you did it, but we'll take it. Oh, I like is neutral. So he's oh, kind of living here. Fine by me. Right in the same boat as the starved. Perfect. Except without wanting to go and burn down a little cobbler. Very nice. Very ununderstanding, but very nice. Hey guys, hey guys, how do you how do you know that dragons really, really like music? Is now the time? Is now really the time? Is it? Because they really know their scales. <sighs> that wasn't funny. Let's keep I just, going. I just pick up resume and just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> right Physical in the lava, Marshall. Right in the lava. Make another bad joke again, I'll just drop you in it. <laughs> But come on, if you can't laugh. I just start dangling her over the lava. <laughs> come on, Mystic! <laughs> Purge the heresy and fire. So, <laughs> as you continue along to the south here, we'll just for the sake of this is a new episode recap, what are you all doing, Raz, you are? I am thinking very big with my big old I thinking cap. I want to think you don't go with nature. I think you go with bardic lore, by the way. I, about that thing. I okay. do go with bardic lore over nature. It's a 20. The 20. I roll so spicy for you on knowledge checks that are completely irrelevant. The completely rat. and totally well, irrelevant. Well, I know everything. The, the rat Kinda. that knows all. You know something about everything. It might even be right. <laughs> uh, if we're lucky. What you have seen here, this creature, you feel whether she found it humorous or she just has a very high opinion of, of self. Uh, there's not one that would have arrived here from the plane of fire so much as the first world. And your interactions, your conversations with her really only solidified this uh, initial thought. This is a Dalos. And a Dalos is actually the creature's appearance notwithstanding a fey folk. That, that is a fairy? That is the volcano fairy. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I want five of it. Are that you, you just talked to. We well, talked that, to that does very much explain her demeanor and her attitude and her humors, really. I guess I'll just check that off my list of I've seen everything, okay? Huh. But <laughs> Rasheen, get this. That was a fay. I don't believe you. A what? Dalos <laughs> are uh, very powerful creatures of the first world, as much as they appear living volcanoes and like many fey creatures their biology is nonsensical and almost irrelevant to what really is the makeup of their actual being as they are a creature more of pure magic than they are of an actual physical form like all fey folk that said hmm. maybe not something you would want to uh, have to fight especially in a situation such as this but one you feel would not be beyond your means really but any friend you don't have to fight is, you know, a friend you don't have to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like new friends. The bridge, as it spans over uh, Iolite's massive pool of magma here, eventually merges with the western wall on your left, narrowing to a very thin 
walkway as it slopes ever so gently downwards towards the bubbling pool below. Before it turns away, as you can see, a much larger landing a little ways ahead of you, to the left, deeper into this lair, there is a narrow channel where it breaks away very abruptly. A jagged cliff dropping briefly to where this outcrop is anchored into the wall before a ten-foot drop into nothing but lava below. The channel is quite narrow. It's only about four feet across, but the ledge you stand on, not much wider. Trishy, could you ferry us across? It should be simple enough. If there's anyone who does not feel confident, I'll carry your, you across. And as you currently have airwalk on you, and you are, I mean, you are perfectly capable, there will be no real difficulty in Look, ferrying walk, drop. the group of you across this. I mean, you don't have to move. It's like a four-foot gap. Yeah, you, you can just, just stand, stand there in the and middle and of just, it like, hold and their just hand do that yeah. as they Look, go across. Drop. But it's unsettling nonetheless. I mean, I just Look, leap across oh. anyway. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, Resme, you got another joke? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like me and you would just take turns dangling over the lava. So the group of you making your way to the southern landing uh, without any real difficulty. The passage here actually turns into this western wall, continuing into a much more comfortably sealed cavern without a massive pool of magma below you. Some 15 feet wide, a gargantuan carved passageway that goes down in a series almost again of large terraces more than steps, much akin to what you had experienced when you first came into the chamber. Uh, each of these large terraces goes down a few feet. Again, no difficulty, but somewhat uncomfortable as you make your way further down and deeper into the lair. Oh, all right. This will, is better. I will be trying to stick to walls to avoid notice. At kind this of point, uh, the air walk, uh, talking to the Fae and moving here, you would be feeling the magic of your airwalk starting to fade, but you'd still have it for a little... It's five hey, minutes, right? Five minutes. Yes, five for minutes. a little hey, while longer at that point. Hey, Marshall, we're underground again, right? Yeah. You got that box thing, right? We've oh, yeah. We've been underground. <laughs> Hold on one second. He digs into his beard of holding and pulls out the box. As you uh, pull it out, you can see this cavern opening back up again before you into a much wider area that is, again, you can see lit with the telltale red glow of these open pools of magma somewhere within the cavern. But with the box out, give it a good shake. As you pop it open, it is perhaps a fair bit more useful here. It shows you an interesting amount about the area since it does not seem to acknowledge the magma itself has solid enough stone for it to portray. Hmm. You can see a, a little bit of the chamber back behind you with just the wall and uh, the sides before it drops down to the exposed wooden bottom of the box. Hmm. These pools of magma, well, this isn't going to help you figure out how deep they are, but from where you are, it's at least 60 feet further down. Whoa. You got, Whoa. you went down some good 12 feet in that cavern. You're probably about at the level of the previous pools. Uh, you can see the cavern before you expands out some way to the north, hitting the top wall of the box. But you can also see the wall uh, in front of you here on the eastern side is maybe only 10 to 15 feet thick before again it opens up the sand inside the box holding the craggy, rough, natural walls of a cavern that expand from the wooden bottom of the box to the top. Oh. A massive abyss to the east. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. You see that right there? See, see the absence of sand right there? Yeah, well, normally there would be something there every time I open the box, but not this time. That, so. looks, that looks dragon shaped. It doesn't look like the magma actually shows up on it. Could it just be that's a ginor that's a gigantic pile of magma? I mean, it's a strong possibility, but it could also be her nest. Interestingly, and I read this book, I even talking to our producer made fun of the fact these were on the map earlier, and I said, quote, no one would ever realize this. You actually would with the box. Um, you can see that though the ledge comes out of this cavern here drops away some 25 feet on the left side. It's actually connected to the chamber you just came from by some wide 
uh, crevasse-like caverns, mm. looking almost like veins, tubes through the sand, big wounds in the stone, connecting this to the magma pool from the other chamber. Interesting. Below can, the magma level. Below the magma level. Okay. You no can also there. see they continue to run underneath the stone floor you are about to be let out on onto and further into this massive abyss to the east. Huh. Hmm. I was wrong. The box will to show you about the channels underneath the magma. Yay. And uh, I guess uh, at least they get a little bit of uh, justification. No. Uh, get a little yeah. bit of a reward for being wrong. Haters in heaven. The perfect name to top me off at three villain points here. I wish I got rewards for and being the wrong. The perfect session to do it. I mean, we'd like to live, please. Thank you. I'm wrong a lot. I mean, that's true. <laughs> so it does give you a lot of information, actually, but the scale of this cavern is so massive that you can't see where this passage ahead of you leads, okay. whether it connects to that eastern abscess. Uh, but the southern half, the, what would be the closest view of this box as you open it, is just solid sand, seemingly nothing but actual firm rock behind you okay. with uh, occasional small divots and pockets as the earth is wont to be. Well, that's good information to have at any rate. Right. right. We're just surrounded by possible magma? Well, it seems like if we're going to be going to a place where Strymalor would layer, it would be through to the east here, so perhaps the passage would bend around that way. We'll keep an eye out for a passage leading that way. Right. So everyone got a good path of it, so... Yeah. Okay. And I just... I got started on asking what everyone's expiration activities were, and then I immediately got distracted. Recall don't, knowledge. Don't call us an expiration activity. <laughs> it might happen later, but no need to jinx I mean, it. We literally just got recall knowledge, and I got distracted by the knowledge check on the Delos. Which, by the way... I'm so smart. There's an absolute amazing unit. bestiary pawn here. Wow. That we did not have to use, fortunately, for you guys. He's an um, absolute Rasheen, unit. Rasheen, what are you doing? Um, she is keeping her shield up, because... Anything can happen. Anything could Rather? happen. I am searching. Seeking. Eyes open. Avoiding Rashik notice. Rashik is up on the walls here spooking, and Marshall is... I got big red out, and just in case. Diff the opposite kind of ready that Rasheen has. Rasheen has defensive ready, you have offensive ready. Mm. I mean, Scouting for battle. She takes the hits, I deliver them. It's fair. That's how the party That's works. That's how it works. Really. <laughs> so these uh, massive steps let out here into a large cavern that is now near level with a large pool of magma on the left side of the room. It's almost a stone beach. As this, the whole of this walkway is not flat, and it kind of gently slopes down before it just becomes a bubbling, slowly oscillating pool, 15, 20 feet wide on your left. Don't roll your ankle. As you come into this <laughs> chamber, even with the magic of endure elements on those of you that don't have fire resistance or uh, you are forged for your desert rat abilities, the heat is absolutely unbearable. Uh, I'd imagine if you stick to the eastern walls here, it is of course a little more tolerable because you are slightly further from the exposed pool of lava, but it is not just sweaty, it is, it's almost literally burning your skin just being in this cave. Oh. This is extreme heat. Oh, let's just get through it as quickly as we can. Oh. This is you can see, and you can scroll the map view up uh, to the north a little ways. This this passageway continues uh, like all the way up because they can see all the way up here. This passageway continues uh, far up to the north. This ledge, fortunately, thankfully, widening a significant amount, becoming 30, 40 feet across. Uh, but. Similarly, the pool on the far side also expanding as well until it forms a massive, nearly still lake of magma. Uh, we'll, we'll be a little beyond what we're dynamically lighting for uh, computer resource reasons. Mm -hmm. oh, if I'd known we were going to be dealing with this kind as, of lighting, I would have chosen a different walking, palette for our makeup. Raz just like takes off his hat, puts just, it in the bag of holding, <laughs> takes all the, all the scrolls off of him. Hoods it in the bag of holding. Oh, Anything flammable <laughs> is just going in the bag of holding. So Marshall is kind of doing the occasional like, I smell something cooking and it's, oh, it's, it's the gunk head I'm wearing, isn't it? <laughs> Actually smell like roasted potatoes right now, Marshall. That would also be, a, again, a, a much more potent <laughs> smell of sulfur as you're a lot closer to the pool of magma here. It'll make it almost difficult to really sense anything else. Between that and the oppressive heat, 
Roshin still smells like blood and steel. You managed to still smell like <laughs> blood and steel. You know, honestly, it's kind of reassuring that that smell hasn't gone away. <laughs> so you know continue? what I have that I could make use of? What? A red Drake hide leather jacket. Probably blunted at least a little bit, I imagine. I mean, the, I'll put it on over my. my I thought you suit. already had it on. I, I was about to say, I made you a whole body cool, suit. Cool Normally, it's like. On his person, somewhere or another. Uh, you don't because want him to get messed up in a fight. Exactly. Of course. It's yeah. nice. It's a dress clothes. So as you it's come dress clothes. into it's the really chamber hot. here, uh, making your way through here, uh, of course, very much on guard. Uh, you reach where this platform sort of begins to expand. At which point, uh, perception check me, Resme the Seeker. It feels weird not wearing a hat. Seeking. <laughs> Uh, that's going to be a 32. A 32. Uh, you would be able to see that, of course, this lava is always slowly churning here. It's it's almost interesting to watch. It's so hot and so bright that there is near no indication of the gray stone it would be, uh, gray or black stone it would be as it cools. Uh, what's on the surface here, of course, is the hottest of it rising, incandescent, almost white in some places at the top. And it's more folding over itself like dough than it is flowing like water. You see a fold a little ahead of you on your left in this magma stream. It'll start to rise up a little more than would be natural. Hey, and hey guys. I, I think we got company. And that this lava actually starts to split as a blackened and near obsidian looking shape starts to crest out of it. A roar cut in halfway through as its mouth breaks the surface. The head of a strangely ferocious, Ooh. Hu somewhat humanoid, somewhat reptilian creature of pure magma rises to the surface hmm. and a little further along a second coming up oh. to join it oh guys it's the, the magmen <laughs> and at that i'm definitely gonna need you guys to <laughs> all right those Just for the pun if nothing else those aren't those aren't those aren't they no those aren't friends that's close enough um, battle what? cry question mark? yeah you can be I'll battle you can definitely yeah, cry at the one right in front of you you can definitely both wow. yell at it I rolled uh, actually really good this time. Uh, so Ooh, that's pretty good. Nice. I've been rolling spicy on initiative. All right, so we'll nice, go nice. around this way this time. Trishik? 29. Is that 15? That's or 15. Or... Marshall? 38. Ooh, Marshall was ready. Business. Raz? Raz got a 39. Ooh, Rat, very ready for action here. Resme? Also got a 39. Who wants to go first? Me. Go for it. I guess I had these slightly out of order, Roshin. Uh, Roshin got a 29. The most so, so did Roshin. Oh my god. Who wants to go first? Uh, shield person. Go ahead. Let me roll. Up here, you want to also turn their magma noises down a little bit. They're a little on the loud They're side. They are giant magma creatures, but I think we've got the uh, the idea. And we are in a cave. I'll relatively just in the stone. When, so, when you can feel the rumble a little bit through the... You can literally feel it through the table. I feel like people wearing headphones are probably suffering right now. <laughs> Incredibly immersed. The northernmost one, seemingly oh in a bit of a oh. rush, given his distance. Whoa. Uh, the food's over here, swift. and he wants to get to it first. Marshall, what did you have? 30, I had a 38. There was 38 and 39. Axe also got a 38. So it's going to be right in here for the one that's right next to you. Okay. Um, you both have intimidating glare, so they definitely don't speak common, but yeah. you can give me your battle cries. Oh, uh, both money. are gonna be on the closest one, as it's the one that Money. Right. Money. Uh, math, hold on. Wow, prowess. They're pretty big, I don't really think they're gonna be terribly physically menaced. All right, fair enough. I know you smell pretty bad. <laughs> I smell worse. They're also in lava, and you're shying up against the, the farthest <laughs> point of the ground from the lava as you could physically get to. I get a 40. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, got, I got a 42. I mean, those critically succeed and yeah. also yeah. still critically succeed. So nice. Uh, We're the scary. one in front of you, is it, a rise, is it a rise? Yeah, surprisingly, almost kind of shies back again a, a bit. I guess explaining why this northernmost one is going to go first. 
but in reality, we just Can go... Can get a recall knowledge? <laughs> Start oh, killing yeah, I'll give you a recall knowledge. I'll give you a recall knowledge. Arcana or Bardic Lore? 20. Or, uh, just goes Bardic Lore it is. Exactly. And Arcana. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. They're like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You you know honestly after the realization the previous thing is a Delos and is a Fey, you realize that your knowledge of creatures of the magma is <coughs> not you. fantastic. Gesundheit. Dang it, it's the sulfur. Um, <laughs> <laughs> while you would like to believe these are probably elementals of some kind, it's not an assumption you're going to rush to. You're not sure. Um, the immersion is really big. Squid actually brought sulfur and put it under. Yeah, the table it actually so it's, it's, it's it. difficult to breathe in here. So, oh my god! It's really just rotten eggs. Actually, it's pretty miserable. Where's so, the Vix? We also spent about 20 minutes before the stream started, just uh, leaning over the stove where we were just burning a bunch of crap to get all the smoke in our face, so we could really just get into into character. Yep. Here. The, the, the heat. We just sit outside. I thought it was popcorn. So it was burning pop. Burning pop. Burning pop. Uh, the northernmost creature, as it rises up from the lava, uh, as it kind of breaches turns a, a very clear head. It's maw open and inside seemingly nothing but literal fire and lava. A plate around its shoulders and on its head seeming to be encased in uh, this igneous rock, a dark black solid stone forming equal parts armor and skin around this beast. As it realizes that you are here, it launches out of the lava, uh, oh. ejecting itself through the air, where you can see the full of this thing's strangely humanoid, almost gorilla-like body. Hmm. Rock it up, trailing fire and magma behind it. Uh, where I'm gonna make you guys reorganize. It is going to sail over the party and actually land just behind you. Wow. Oh, that moves. That's <clears throat> okay then. And as it sails over you, you can see the fire inside of its chest where these plates kind of separate the brightest glow grow in intensity before it explodes midair above everyone i need everyone to make a reflex save is it a b52 bomber e. what a good this is, is basil the goose, I'm not <laughs> basil the goose. <laughs> Uh, I'm going I'm to, uh, Marshall is going to, uh, readjust his footing for the incoming kaboom. I, okay. oh no. For something much worse, so. I'm glad I didn't take off the robe, but it didn't help me any. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, what did you get, Rez? 25. 25? I rolled a two. Does not critically fail. Oh my god, That's really? what we're looking for. Yep. Roshin. 35. 35 will succeed. You will take half. 37. 37 will succeed. You'll take half. 41. You will succeed, so you critically succeed. Uh, Rogue is ready. Marshall? I also got 25, unfortunately. You also don't critically succeed. This is fire damage as it explodes. We like Raz that. Raz and Marshall are going to take 42 points of fire damage. Mm. And 42. Resume okay. and Roshin are going to take 21. Okay. Minus so five. Minus whatever fire resistance 16. you guys all have. I hide uh, behind uh, Marshall. Yeah. And you are like <laughs> yeah, under exactly. Marshall as he explodes, and you dip into the only cover that you can find, which is the incredibly large dwarf. And as it lands, uh, it's actually it's not going to land immediately behind you. It's going to land like 15 feet back, uh, almost in, uh, almost obstructing much of the passageway that you would come from if you want to move the token about 15 feet more south there. Uh, it is going to land and then turn around and just lash out uh, its arm disjointing, these plates coming apart and separating hmm. with a core of stretched red-hot magma, lashing it almost like a tentacle toward Raz because you happen to be the closest. 15 feet behind us, you said? Yeah, about, about there. Uh, right there? Okay. Okay. Don't bully the rat. Because it's reaching 15 feet. Mm, I got you. Mm. It's going to uh, only have 32 to hit you. Um... I immediately lost my character sheet. Look kind at that. It just exploded and is trying to pull its plates back together. Um, 32 does not hit. He'll be already ducking as, from the fireball. As Raz is actually on the ground and he just misses, go right over his head because he just ducked. Well, Raz, it's your turn. Raz, being the rat he is, is going to go further east and north just past Re Re Roshin. Suck up in the corners. Yeah, right can. there. Get away from the large thing. Get away from the large, scary thing. And he is going to... That frightened too. Kind of pretty good on the attack roll. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Um, 
He's going to just panic. I want to try another recall knowledge. Okay. Racking his brain, thinking. I'm racking, hard. racking my brain, thinking really, really hard. All right, as you see these creatures come up here, uh, you realize, looking at how they move, that <laughs> it's never gonna stop being funny. Um, <laughs> these are truly uncommon creatures you've come upon here. Oh. They are not technically golems, okay. but they are functionally animated constructs of magma. Now, these things are literally just this igneous stone pulled together around a core that's held together uh, by whatever, you know, just like most other golems, by whatever enchantments that they have available. They're not golems, technically, so you don't know if they have the golem, like, immunity to things, but you do know that being constructs, they are going to be relatively resistant to traditional physical attacks. Oh. Well, good news is they're not golems. Um, so hit them with magic maybe inspired defense <laughs> <laughs> then also don't get hit probably resume for the best. your inspiration is always Raz I try uh, <laughs> resume is going to get the heck back by the wall where <laughs> Raz is because she thinks that's a fabulous place to be that's a great idea really like yeah, here that's perfect and uh we're gonna go ahead and uh, maybe this will work. Uh, igneous malformatum, and we're gonna try to throw a shaped stone on one of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's they are not partially a bad idea. stone. So, uh, which one? Uh, the one that's coming out of the lava that way, because mm. that one's closer to me. Okay, the one that still has, yeah. hasn't yeah. emerged yet. Uh, oh, wait, that's the frightened two, and I literally put on the wrong creature. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, it worked. I think it would have missed anyway. Anyway, I'm not going back. Um, yep. You cast it, and you you cast this spell out. And what are you trying to do exactly? Like um, hold it in place, or either slow it down because that seemed to work before, or try to because she sees that there seems to be this gap in the middle. Try to pull the gap closed so, to see if she can get the thing that's spitting fire to close up. So as you almost try to pull and compress on this with shape stone, this has no effect whatsoever on the creature itself. But all of you can see the magma around it kind of slightly almost vacuum seal down around its shoulders as that very much still stone is uh, shaped and pulled down around it a little bit. Uh, but the creature itself is entirely unaffected. Okay, hmm. interesting. And as it comes up with a great roar out from this pool, uh, simply clambering up onto the shore. As it does, this roar manifesting as what looks like almost a small moat of flaming magma just kind of spits out of its mouth towards Marshall is the closest person at the moment, and this is the frightened two guy. So I'll do math right this time. What is math? Hard. Uh, with frightened two, it's going to be a 38 to that hit is, you with that one. That is a normal hit, yeah. A normal hit. And as this small little puff connects with you, you are going to take 21 points of fire damage. It's just fire damage. Just so. fire, so minus seven, that will be... That will be 14. 14, yep. Okay, that's not too bad. Yes, 14 points of fire damage. Before it pulls itself up closer in range and similarly kind of distends its arms as its <clears> plates <throat> separate and almost this tentacle of magma lashes out towards Marshall, striking at him physically. For a, a 21 on the second attack with the fright. Marshall sees it coming and he just kind of ducks. And is like, oh, that was close. They don't seem to be terribly coordinated creatures. <laughs> As they pull together here. Marshall. All right, Roshin, I'll take this one in front and you take the one behind us. Got it. All right. Am I, is the place big enough for me to go Mega Marshall? Absolutely. Mega uh, Marshall it is. here arcs up to maybe 35 feet overhead. It's a massive area. It's dwarfing time. Yeah. <laughs> so and as you expand, uh, fire resistance notwithstanding, placing yourself much closer, you can Feel your skin boiling. Make oh, a reflex save. A reflex save? Oh boy. Oh, and I'm This is just lava proximity. Uh, 
And technically, I'm clumsy too right now, so that'll be. Oh, and I get a plus one plus from one that. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, so that'll be thirty-three. Uh, with a thirty-three, you will succeed. So you will. That's take what we're aiming for. Half. You will take nine points of fire damage. You mean two? Two points. <laughs> of oh no! Uh, yeah, you're marshaling your forge rip. You don't care that much, but it's actually like physically hurting you. Like just standing here for a few minutes, you would die. Yeah. So that's that's no way to. Alrighty. Uh. So that happens. Um. Well, when in doubt, smack. Uh. It's a minus one because I'm still cursed. It's okay, he's frightened one, so it's a minus one over here. Too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'm. I, I just have to remind it. Uh, so that's going to be my L. 34. That's exactly catches him. Woo! Woo! Uh, that's that's what we're aiming for. Frightened one. That's that's what we're aiming for. Oh, kind of rolled a little low on that one, but it's hopefully something. So, uh. So 11 plus 17, so that's 28. 28 big red damage. Alrighty, and as you smash through it, 28 points of damage, your axe cleaving through its plated flesh and its magma core as easily as regular flesh. Uh, seemingly no resistance whatsoever. Okay, well, we will, when in doubt, give it another swing. Nat 20. We like it. You got dialed in there. Second Wait a second. There's Just no roll resistance 20. here. He's not. <laughs> what are you, yeah, you took a second to get up in the heat of the magma, really. Much better roll on. Oh, geez. Uh, okay, so that's 15 plus 10. So that's 25 plus 16. Uh, 41. So 41 times 2, so that's 82. 82 points of damage. Wow. Wham. So Ooh, Marshall is just trying, Marshall is just trying to thing. dig into this thing and end as quickly as possible because he does not... Normally, he's okay with the heat, but this time, he's, he's not into it. Please and him. as you take a massive blow, cleaving through much of the stone on the front of this thing, exposing more of this magma core, it burns still yet more brightly, almost like the one who had jumped over before it exploded, and you feel an incredible heat coming out oh. from it. I should make another reflex At save. Another. You're in two fire arrows. <laughs> so. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, that, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Marshall rolled a one. That's okay. It's going to get a little spicy. You opened it up. It's real spicy. Man. Oh, boy. Oh, it's hot. At least um, it's just aura damage. So, that's, of course, you're going to critically fail because it makes sense. You're not avoiding this fire. You are literally leaning <laughs> into it. Fair. Uh, you are going to take 38 points of fire damage. 38, so minus so 31. 31. Yep. Okay. From just the heat of Oof. this creature. All right, so at math least you're time. getting a lot of value out of your. It's ratio. okay. You did yeah, 110 yeah. damage to it, so I mean, you're gonna yeah fire yeah, yeah. resistance <laughs> value here. <laughs> exactly. Being a forged dwarf matters, kids. It's the age of ashes. As get I, fire resistance. You know, as I get that second wave, I'm like, oh, oh Shane, don't get too close to it. It burns. It burns like oh, the shit. dickens. Oh, welcome to my world. <laughs> oh, facial. <laughs> right Ow. up in her face. Right up in its face, charging forward. You all take care of the one up north. I'll hold this one off. Um, and Roshin's gonna run right up next to it and just <laughs> grit and wince. We love our girl. <laughs> Making a reflex save. <laughs> the word. Oh, no, I'm ready I'm for it. So ready. I'm ready for it. Uh, so that's a 40. Critically succeeds. No, I shield in front of you. Good you job. got the worst of it protected. Um, and as she runs up, she's gonna brandish the sword uh, and just scream at it uh, for uh, demoralize. Natural 20. <laughs> Grand total Ooh, I'll of handle a this one 46. To 1v1 it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as, as you kind of just run straight up into this thing's face with absolutely zero fear, and you're the size of its shin rock, it's a little afraid of that. It's, <laughs> it's sentient enough to realize, ooh. It's like, it's oh my god, a badger. <laughs> Get away. It's a big badger. I don't like this. Is it a honey badger? Yeah. One action left. <laughs> Gotta see it. One action left. Let's hit it. 18 oh. on the die. Okay. Ooh, um, she 44. Oh, That's going to critically succeed. Lava is canceled. Um, is, we uh, got stuff to do in this cave, and it does not involve you, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, holy die? No. Okay. It is pure neutral. I was about to say. I thought. 
Not bad. Not that. See here, sixteen. Curse isn't actually up yet. It's so. Actually, I, was, I like letting you guys know you crit because it is frightened. That would not have crit if it wasn't frightened. Nice. I figured. Um, oh. let's see, sixteen and six is twenty-two times two, forty-four. Can it bleed? Can it? Bleed? I mean, it can. Uh, Just, it definitely doesn't. As you slice through it, there's maybe perhaps a beef spray of fire, a ray of uh, a wash of sparks across you, but. It has nothing coursing through the veins it doesn't have. Okay, fair not enough. Not going to bleed. Ah, both uh, my runes don't work. <laughs> yeah, it's not evil and it can't bleed. But at bleed. least you hit it. At hey, least the, I can hey, hit it. The striking rune works. That's true. The striking rune works wonders. Trishik, it's lovely. You want me to handle one in lava. I think I'll deal with yours instead. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to spread the damage as evenly as possible. I don't really have much of a choice. The other one's literally yeah, in lava. He kind of has to like run to like towing the magma to go fight the other one. That's I'm gonna clear run talk. behind this one, which will take me two actions. Okay. And um, don't Let's put him on the rim of the thing. The don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. He's behind just... it. This is kind of a large, they're large Boop. creatures. It's, yeah. We're spewing out over a fairly large area. And with flanking, I will now lash out at its tail. This is mine now. Right in two, status. Flanking circumstance. That's a 19 Ooh. on the die. I crit it. Sure, you crit it. <laughs> I am positive so, that crits. That's a 46 to its flanking. Yeah, you definitely he's, crit it. That's not terribly far off of double critting it. He's stolen um, ankles. Neutral, not undead, so I do not get special dice, but I do get. All of your dice pilot. are special. Yeah, it six. is not immune to precision, so you sneak attack the vital part of the magma. I I mean, I'm, just, core I'm the bisecting the tail. Oh, this, fair enough. This is mine now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got weak parts. It seems to be one oh, contiguous oh. creature regarding okay. its appearance, so severing I mean, parts of it is massively so, damaging. 10, 20. Five, nine, so 29, 37 becomes 74. Oh, it's super dead. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the other one has. What do you mean spreading the damage? <laughs> no, I'm just murdering. That's oh, fair. No, that's no. fair. That's good. Is it still? That's the one that, that's not the one that Marshall hit. No, that's, no, that's the one that Roshi 70 hit. what? 74. 74. That's a lot, but it's definitely not down yet. Uh, and I need you to make me a reflex save, good sir. Oh, which no. Oh, it's no. frightened too. So. I rolled a three. I got a 30. If I failed, I. St I it's gonna be thirty one. Frightened too. I don't know why. Succeed on a three. So much money. Well, because it's frightened too. But I succeeded on a three. You succeeded on a three. Shove it, lizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is its turn, and it is not happy about the situation. And nimble it is dodge. <laughs> <laughs> It wants its tail back. That's, that, I mean, that's yeah, that's what's doing. It really can't easily move anywhere. Um, so it is going to move out. It is going to move out west, uh, moving back a little ways into the lava here, retreating back into this pool, pulling itself out a little out of its flanking as much as it can. Oh, and a fortitude save. Yeah, a fortitude save. That's frightened too. Because lizard. So things. it's going to be a. Because brawling. Three. That is exact. It mm. is not slow. Okay. Uh, but from there, as it retreats, it's going to lash out uh, with this tenon. Yeah, it's going to strike you. Obviously, it's going to lash you. You guys both crit it, but you crit it a lot harder. Right into the dose. Ooh, decent roll, though. Going to be a 43 to hit through Frightened 2. Normal hit. Normal hit. As it smacks you, or the D10s I literally just had, there they are. You are going to take 22 points of, again, raw fire damage. There is no physical aspect to this. This tentacle does not have like a real solid structure here. I will uh, only take 17. But as this strikes you physically, uh, the heat of this direct contact is gonna be more than enough to, for Trishik to physically catch fire from this hit. Uh, and then it is going to swipe again with its other arm as it falls back for what's gonna be 13 lower than that, so it's a 30. And that's not gonna hit on that second swing. My AC is 36 with Rams. this. We got real boy armor classes now. Real boy armor, I don't. Um, <laughs> you're a rat. You're currently not actually wearing armor. 
Raz is just watching everything wide-eyed, trying to figure out what to do, because he has no idea what's happening. Well, they should be cutting them both down relatively Yeah, he's effectively. watching them like, well, that information was wrong once again. Um, <laughs> it's okay. We just took the opposite of what you said. You're doing, you're doing great, Mr. Machine, <laughs> Mr. Cheat. Well, Mr. Marshall, heads up. I'm going to inspire defense and then tell them that to the projectile. Projectile. Throw a okay. rock. I'm going to throw a rock. He's, he's going to throw a rock. I'm going to throw a rock. Still frightened one. They're both frightened one right now. Okay. I rolled a 19 on the die. Woo. You should have saved these for a future know, encounter right? today. But no. it's not a bad thing. Um, For a total of a 42. That is not going to critically hit, but that will obviously hit. Need any? I... Two more? It's yeah, funny. Two more. The other one pretty much has had martial credit and the... And it has as much damage as the one that Roshin and Trishik both crit. Well, that, hits. that's barbarian stuff. Oh. Uh, six, 10, 24, 29 of just rock damage. Whap. Whap. Right, solid hits. And Resume. I thought rock that was plus dead. 17 is a hell of a drug. Mm-hmm. Uh, Resume will go, oh, oh, good idea, Raz. I'm going to do it too. And she's going <laughs> to <do it. laughs> And she's going to pick up the another one of the rocks, and she's going to flick it at him as well. Natural cavern here. There is no shortage of rubble and smaller boulders to fling uh, defensively towards these. The noise! Another die. Another spoundry dice are up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 41. Plus mine out for freaking strength. 41 will hit. Just the artillery. It's not as good as a halfling we know. You want to no. roll Malachite for Strymalura? Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> He'll kill you with it. Except, <laughs> just accept the curse. It's fine. It draws from Marshall's RNG. I have micro You do? do have uh, it's going to be 30. 30 points of damage. 30. Uh, this barrage here, finally, uh, the one rock and the other after Marshall's massive head opens it, is going to strike. And most of the, the plates around the chest, the torso of this thing, have been broken apart or splintered across the ground. The creature is physically reeling backwards as the inside of uh, this magma core continues to brighten. And uh, as you deal this final blow here, it explodes. Oh, no. Marshall, make a reflex save. <laughs> oh, no. You're fine. Shield? It's oh. it's not a huge explosion. It's actually it's just hitting Marshall. No, no, I meant that's what I'm doing with my last action. Oh, fair enough. 32. I added that. 32. I'm clumsy also. So. Will fail. Oh, no. Yeah, you're fine. Boom. You're Marshall. This is true. You have like twice my health. Three, probably three times. It's going to be 28 points of fire damage. Okay, okay so 21. 21 then. Okay. As it literally just detonates. Uh, the plates around its body that form its, uh, its, its physical uh, manifestation here immediately seem to lose much of their structure. Uh, becoming splinters and almost dust so minor that the, the fragmentation, the shrapnel, is no harm at all. Just the raw heat from this blast. So as that happens, Marshall kind of just takes it in face and he's like, ah, da, kind of, ex- even though his beard is made of fire in this form, he <laughs> attempts to extinguish. And that was the it's- one that was up next. So it's your turn and immediately like, afterwards. Oh, oh God. Uh, uh, well, that was interesting. He's going to psych up. And then he's going to sun charge the other one. Because rar. And you have big red, so you got to get within 10? 15. 15, 15, 15, 15 feet. Because I'm, you're huge, I'm mega you're Marshall. You're huge. You can 15 foot reach this. You're the back line now. Rawr. That 20. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Roshin's just going to hunker down and wait for that explosion. Well, that's so that's as, Marshall is, <laughs> as Marshall is charging, I'm like... You better prepare for an explosion. See, you're literally running away from the previous explosion, and you run it. It's definitely dead. It's a Marshall crit. There's no way. It's I mean, alive. I rolled kind of low, but still, it's a uh, it's eight plus three, so that's eleven plus sixteen. Uh, twenty-seven times two, so that's fifty. Yeah, it explodes. Okay. Uh, and you see Marshall. You hear him pounding up behind you. You see his axe come down, and as he strikes, almost immediately, reactively, this thing just detonates. You don't need to make a reflex save. You're actually out of range. Woo. Roshin and Drashik need to make a reflex save. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I did warn you. It them. is a 10-foot emanation. I rolled an 8. Uh, Just let it. 35. Yeah. You good. I rolled a 2. <laughs> That's one. Uh, you, you, you might not be. Uh, heroism. 
Um, yeah. Really. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 27 Divine Aegis. What's that do? Is it a divine effect? No. It's okay. literally just fire. Plus one circumstance bonus then to that. Uh, reg so 28. Regular failure. Take it. So uh, I'll take it. Here's, and Marshall, you see Trishik like flatten himself down. Roshin, what? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I literally see Roshin it like turns, going. sees it explode, then slowly turns back as the ax comes down on it. <laughs> Eyes get big. It's like in a slow-mo in action movie. You're just like, no. <laughs> 23 <laughs> points of fire damage. Oh, all right, it's not. It's, it's not fire. Terrible. It makes a whole lot it's of It's only her, a 10 Her foot. hair gets yeah. blasted back and her face is all sooty. I've been it's more a 10 into... foot range. It's not yeah. a massive explosion. 20, it's a 23. Three. 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 23. Yeah. It's like barbecue. I get it now. It's not that I'm wrong a lot. It's just I'm remembering about the wrong things. No, you Raz, know. darling. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. I'm pretty sure you're wrong a lot. No, 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 well, no, no. I think no, that's no. the biggest you know, just pile of... If you're of taking a test <laughs> and you put down the right answer a while. to a different question, that's you're totally still you. wrong. Look, <laughs> I mean, Squid, well, this we're is the test. done with these little pissant fights. We want the dragon, you're, and we're not going to accept. No, you're no, clearly no, no, no. here for a purpose. And after, I believe, literally every attack critting, other than the spells... I, we have a lower attack value. For two rounds, which almost crit. Yeah. I think you were two and three off on your two attacks. Or Jeez, one and two. Dude. It was hey. real close. You strike these demons down. And after that, there were some little specks of magma that have blasted out of them that landed across the shelf here, which near immediately start to cool, lose their oh, orange goodness. luster, and a degrade to small, rough, black pebbles uh, like so much again just dough Do left to yeah, kind of ooze tons. across the ground as they hard as i string down i'm like oh, oh everyone all right oh uh, it looks a little singed probably I, I have a little sunburn but it's okay I'm a little crispy but it's okay i have a hero point for you for mr jake the impaler for the hero the realm needs big red right. thanks jake appreciate it immediately buddy. start stripping out of this robe just pulling <laughs> pulling it off Mm. Marshall just kind of takes a quick kneel so he can just gather his breath. He's like, oh, for once the adrenaline is slowly wearing off on Here. that one. Whatever get... kind of break we're Have going to be lemonade. taking. Have some lemonade. Let's take it in that next uh, area. I don't want to be near this big pool. Back, ready? Here you go. Take take a couple of these. One. Take a couple of these. Yep. Uh, them, them doing fire damage is actually pop, really nice. 18 pop, so 36. Okay. Yeah, everything, is, everything they do, even their melee attack, is pure fire. So they do two, no what physical do damage. What if we all have the resistance two. instead of the enemy? Okay. You know you're two, going into a lava dragon lair. Four, <laughs> Does Marshall need more? Seven. I'm doing math real quick. I'm sorry. Give uh, me, give me. Because I have more. Folding up the room. Um, he could use a little, but not a lot. I'll take another one. Take another one. I have plenty. Okay, if you're cool with it. Math is hard. So some okay. uh, quick distribution, uh, some quick application of Resume's various alchemical tinctures treat the worst of Marshall's burns here. None of which I imagine are terribly severe. I mean, but even with my resistance, it still burns just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, you got hit by a bunch of them. So it probably did add up to a decent amount of general burning. I survived two explosions. <laughs> and uh, after we're uh, done resting and we're ready to move on, I'm going to drink a Drake Heart. So you, uh, I imagine you're not like taking a 10 minute rest here or anything. No, 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 no. not at all. A quick minute or two to touch good. yourselves up and uh, you don't want to spend any more time in this just, cavern. Just than a little oil. No. But with that Drake Heart mutagen downed and your stance is reprepared, there's not much to do but continue along the north. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this platform expands uh, a good way, letting you move at least 20, 30 feet away from the magma. Things getting slightly more bearable. Uh, before it reaches its end, it narrows back in once more, uh, forcing you a good deal closer to the lava's edge, where again, just that heat is overwhelming. Uh, and you're here very close, uh, the north end, to an even hotter section of the cave as this standing pool of magma, which has nearly no motion. It looks, if you didn't couldn't see what it was connected to, if you saw it in isolation, perhaps like the, just the top of an incredibly hot stove burning yellow and again near white near its center with the raw heat, but near motionless. It looks solid, but again, 
you all know much better, and regardless, it's not like you try to walk out on the stove anyway, even if it was solid. You can see another cavern uh, as this passage kind of narrows down to a thinner section that bores into the eastern wall, winds away to the south near immediately, all but certainly connecting to the massive abscess that you had seen in Marshall's box. Okay, um, so I guess that's the dragon, huh? Right, everyone get your wits about you. I'm not sure if it's a dragon or not. Regardless. Maybe. No, oh, I'm talking about, I don't think I'm ready to fight a dragon. I don't think I'm ready to meet a dragon. I just pick up Raz. Come on, Raz. Oh, I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna go back that way. <laughs> There's no telling what else has made his home back up top. I know it's a little weird looking at the map right here. This is the part I'm unsure why they included these on the surface level of the map. You can see these weird little nooks along the walls. Yeah. Uh, those are the magma channels where they lie underneath the surface of the magma, like a dozen feet beneath this. Oh, There's okay. not like holes in the walls. I was wondering about that. Those see, are like, there drop in case shoots. you want to cast Fiery Body and swim through. Uh, it is, but like normally they oh. denote stuff like that, like dotted lines on the map or things. I, I, it's, a little, it's a little awkward presentation wise that it's on the surface but you yeah. don't there's these this is a solid cavern there are no nooks on the sides or anything there is no lava that's where the channels are uh where perhaps you could have seen a little bit of them uh, on the southern end of the box when you were looking originally okay this tunnel does seem to uh, snap back near immediately running down the inside of the wall that had been your shelter in the previous chamber uh, separating you, yourselves from that caldera by only 10 or 15 feet uh, the stone here no longer sloping down towards the pool. It actually starts to level out a fairly decent amount, though it becomes very rough and curves up to form uh, jagged intersections with the walls at either side. Uh, clearly a passageway that is entirely natural. Uh, not a single minute of work has put into forging this for easier passage. Though, uh, give me a perception check, Resume. Uh, it's just going to be a uh, 27. Uh, you can tell that given its size, and it's it, clearly it's not impassable, uh, with how tall it is and how large it, it almost bows out further than what's actually displayed on the map, which is like the easily walkable area as it goes up. I figure a dragon could probably fit through here. Mm. Yeah, sure, I hope so. <laughs> Maybe Otherwise, you come all marks cave. around here and there. Yeah. That said, you definitely, as you look, can see uh, what, what do appear to be some gouges around the sides of the stone, uh, where it looks like massive talons have raked their way across this, and not scored terribly deeply, uh, but little cuts, little streaks do across I... the surface of the stone where a layer has been torn away. Do I think we're pretty close to that big room? Uh, you would say, you would imagine it's all but impossible if this doesn't open out into it. In fact, from where you are in the tunnel here, you would be able to see down to the south. You can pan the camera a little bit. Uh, you can see this only proceeds another 20 or so feet before there it again opens up into a massive chamber where the floor gives way to an enormous caldera of lava that goes dozens of feet further back. Resume's to gonna cast seventh level resist energy. Okay. Everybody's got fire res fifteen. Oh, they're nice. How long does it last? Ten minutes. Right, it's like a, it's a pretty long one, I think. Hopefully, the fight does not last that long. <laughs> but as <Yes>. you <laughs> proceed <clears throat> down through the passageway, this does not let out into a chamber with a landing of safe passage like the ones prior. This cavern opens to another ledge where the walls expand outward and the bottom, uh, the ground of this again, goes out mostly flat some way before it cuts somewhat severely, about a foot, down to a massive sea. Well, this is so large that though you can see there are some other landings further off of the western side of the cavern, you're not even really confident how far away they are because the cave is just so enormous. And Roshin, for what it is worth, 
seeing the dragon signs, I'll pop one of my invisibilities just okay. in case it might help. Roshin, this particular shore here is one that you would recognize. This is the landing upon which you awoke in your dreams. This is the lake where you have spoken so many times now with your mother. Probably best not dip a toe in this time. And as you come in, you can see there is a figure here on the landing with you. One that you would all recognize, actually. Uh, sat down in a kneeling position, very near the edge of the lava, is a woman with large curling ram-like horns that arc back above her bed, or above her head. As she kneels just barely at the edge of this, you can see that her, her feet are burned black, being licked with flames from the lava. And the embers dance along the back of the simple gown that she wears as well. And she sat there, her head slumped forward, her eyes open, but listless, unresponsive. All of you, except Raz, would recognize the night hag. Calamite. Calamite. That's the one the that got away. It was the one that yep. got away. It's always the, the one that got away. Because it, it was a Jotun, a night hag, and what was the third there one? Were another two, another I mean, there were two Jotuns. Jotun. Jotun. There was yeah. two Jotun hags, I think. And a fiery been a horse. Minute since that fight. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't even remember it. I think we were level <laughs> 10 during that fight, too. And Calamite. Who? As you speak out to her, her eyes kind of just roll in her head up towards you. She barely even moves anything but her eyes. And doesn't even seem to be so much looking at you as through you. And near that same moment, there is an eruption of movement out in the lake of lava. As the magma is cast aside by an enormous creature. A head on a serpentine neck, throwing itself up a dozen feet above the surface as two wings spread wide, parting the waters, leaving even for a moment almost a crater around where she emerged as the magma slowly bubbles its way back in. Dry Malura surging out here, burning between her scales. Don't a dragon you've, look friendly. <laughs> you've seen before, but other than Roshi, never one like this. Uh, much like the creatures you've found in the previous room, she seems almost to be the pure essence of the magma that surrounds her. Her scales are darkened with char and soot, but look to be almost stony as they run down her body. The horns jutting back from her head looking more like natural pillars in a cavern. And between her scales, you can see the glow of the heat, whether that's her own or from the magma in which she just resides, it's not immediately clear. But she turns her head towards the group of you. Clearly this display an impressive one, but not an immediately hostile one. She's not lunging forth to attack. She's not rearing her head back for a massive, devastating breath. She is immediately getting marked for death. You immediately getting marked for death. But she is simply That's showing- That is spooky. Herself. As spooky as it very much is. It's an understatement. <laughs> and in common, she roars out, you dare to intrude on the rightful domain of the queen of Sagarok. Does she have the crown on? She does not know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little magma. horn. It's just yeah, a ring on a little horn. It's just on the horn. Trishik. <laughs> Fearful in the corner, invisible. Boop. Have a hero point from Justinian 9 here. I will immediately waste it, just for you. <laughs> she looks down upon the party, awaiting a response here. Oh, well, that's lovely. Strymalura. We'd like to ask that you not 
burn Kovler to the ground. <laughs> you would walk so carelessly into my imperial domain, to my royal throne, to make demands. Requests, of requests, and to be fair, you didn't have much of a message service. And <laughs> <laughs> at that, you would hear much subtler, a lighter, almost airy chuckle coming from closer as a bit of the lava would rise up and extend almost like a tentacle onto the land next to Calamit. She would just kind of barely shy away from the flames before it dropped away to reveal a form you have seen many times in your dreams. <laughs> Patience, Strymalura. They mean no harm. Mother, that's your mom? All of you would see the uh, admittedly surprisingly plain looking woman standing here. Were it not for her emergence from the pool, she would look utterly unremarkable. Hey everyone, uh, my mother, Tamati. I mean, it's. Oh, how nice. It's uh... good to see you, mother. I. Circumstances, but I feel as though certainly not unexpected. I would imagine. No, Roshin, you. Uh, she would take a, a step towards you, uh, somewhat dismissive of the concept of personal space or the the dragon. general threat <laughs> this yeah. situation really poses to you. Arms outstretched, welcoming, eyes only on you. I've dreamed this moment for, for decades longer than what you have seen and it's, it's finally here well I meant for my heart to come down a bit but yeah, it's, it's good to see you too um, and I'll kind of cautiously kind of move forward to give her a hug a bit awkwardly with steel encasing all of her limbs before you approach her too closely Marshall quickly puts a hand on your shoulder like Beyond the terms, I don't, I don't have, I really don't have a good feeling about this. She's not going to pitch me in the lava, Marshall. I mean, I mean the, the, the dragon, no. That's I think she has it in hand. Hi, uh, Malura. Marshall's very concerned. <laughs> understands as well as she can, but this situation is one complex. As you look back, you can see Stry Malura is still there, like kind of gently bobbing. Wings down to her side, still out and a display, clearly, mm -hmm. but just kind of watching, still like 20 feet away from the landing, some 40 feet from the group of you. She looks way different than the last dragon we met. She looks at you for just a second before embracing Rasheen here. Again, a little awkward with a full plate, but she doesn't seem bothered. It's, it's good to finally meet. Things have... Gotten complicated, as you said. And she uh, still holds this embrace for a moment longer. Her eyes literally closed, seeming to get completely disregarding the rest of the party's presence. So they have. And she would let go and just put her hands up on your shoulders and just kind of look into your eyes here, personally, finally, actually face to face here. There were times there were. Years, even that I had all but given up. I had almost forsaken the dream of getting to see my own daughter, my own child, come to come to claim the glory of her birthright. It's it's been a long time. It's it's good to be able to lay eyes on family again. And she lets you go. She's like holding on to you, but she removes her hands. She kind of folds them together and steps back over. Now, almost looming over this night hag here. You met this one, I believe. Calamine it was. Indeed. And truth be told, I am thankful for your interactions. 
as it led me to her and through her you. It's her heartstone that allows us these contacts through dreams. Her native connection to the dreamlands. She's looking a little worse for wear. Well, I'm grateful to her then. But uh, yes, perhaps she shouldn't be sitting so close to the lava. No. She has more than fulfilled her purpose. And she reaches down and just pushes it over. Uh. The pool. Oh my. <laughs> so, I'm very lost and very confused. That's pool. that's your mom. Yeah, it's uh, yes, yes. The one who just callously murdered the um, hag. The, the one who came out of the lava. Oh, yes, yes. That, she does that a lot. And uh, Calamy does not drop as if into a pool of water. The magma is too viscous for that. She falls. It almost catches her. Falling into a bed. As her body erupts into flames. And her mouth opens in a wordless scream of agony. As it takes her a few agonizing seconds to sink down. Marshall's Smoke immediately taking a fighting stance. Billowing up on the corpse. <laughs> and Tamati kind of doubles over as if she is also in pain for a moment. Mother, you <sighs> broke your coven. Yes, I had to. I needed room. And she turns and kind of extends a hand to you. Oh, it's stone, please. Of, 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 of course. Uh, hand over the dream stone takes it and she turns and just discards it into the lava as well. I suppose it wouldn't have worked anymore, would it? It holds a fragment of her essence. As the hearthstone, heartstone exists. She is never truly gone. She could reform. Few of my kind would willingly subject themselves to this pain. Truth be told, I'm not sure how you managed it. Oh, I'm dizzy. While she's being all dizzy, uh, I'm gonna telepathically communicate with Trishik. If you can, see if you can find the hearthstone, heartstone hidden on her. Let's return the favor at some point. I don't think that's how they work. Um, Roshin will catch her and sort of cradle her a bit as she... She'll of... lean some weight into you. Her hair is done up in a pair of large braids, running back into almost a large bun, holding the bulk of it behind her head. But a few wisps gently draw across your neck, the side of your full plate, as you feel her weight on you. Uh, near the magma, as close to the edge, the heat is... Almost painful, but she seems to shield you from it somewhat. You feel much as you did in your dream, as if it should certainly be worse. Especially after you saw just how uh, injured Marshall, who is much more resilient to these things than you. It's okay. Thank you, Rashina. Breaking Coven. Severing the power of the triumvirate. It's oh, its a thing that manifests almost as physical. I can see that. Well, certainly it was physical on Calamite's end. I imagine our aunt isn't, my aunt isn't doing too well either. Does she understand about this? She just sort of waves a hand almost dismissively. You'd pitch her in the lava too if she stood in your way. As I would any if they stood between us. Truly, the coven needs three. That's a number that holds power. Ancient power. Power beyond simple explanation or understanding. But now, I stand as a lone pair. One that I've afflicted upon myself to make space. Roshin. I know, given the span of your time on this world, and especially since you've been able to meet, this seems everlessly sudden. But a worthy progeny is something I've worked centuries to create. 
You were not the first. What happened? The woes aware of this world took them. There were plague, or strife, or hunger. Perhaps I overestimated the ability of their fathers to provide for them. Perhaps I over uh, overestimated their own will to live. And none of them, none of them shared this connection. It was blood, sure, but simple, weak. They should no promise. If they were unable to survive the conditions of their upbringing, it's no fault of mine. Well, perhaps you owe some thanks to Milani then. Certainly her strength's been keeping me going for quite some time. That is a strength that's. I am so eager to feel, Rashid. To connect with. Do you understand? I, I know, obviously, you. You know the circumstances of your birth. Even before Calamite was so kind as to introduce us, you know you're, you're coven born. You know you're born a dream seeker, a hag as you so callously call it. But the power of a coven. He just kind of looks back over your shoulder towards Strymalura. And Strymalura sort of cocks her head a bit. What? Woman? Raise the hand. Nothing. My child. Nothing. And I threw a shame. Power of this coven. Like even a creature like that is significant. I can see. Your fate would bring you to Kothler, would tie you to that of Cyberhawk and its king to some level. But. Strymalura is submissive to me. She would not act until I let her. And I would not let her before your fate was claimed, before it drove you here. I needed that fate to perhaps guide the rest of your friends. I feared you would not come alone. It's quite unlikely. But these insects are insignificant. Forget them, Rasheen. Cast them off. Oh, Join tall. me. It's a tall order, Mother. I know. As is breaking coven willingly. But you've seen them struggle. I've it's... struggled with them. Yes. Because so far, you have been a mere shadow of your potential. Don't you understand, Rushi? Now that you're here, you've come of age, you've come into your power. You've become such a beautiful woman. You don't need them anymore package. Weights around your ankles that you've used to train. I'm sure they may have helped you grow strong. You've outgrown them. These words, I understand why you speak them, but they're all dear and precious to me. Rasheen, this comes from no place of malice. And she looks for the, across the group for the first time. I don't hate any of you. In fact, I'm thankful to you, as I was to Calamut, for bringing Roshin this far, for protecting her, for ensuring she would arrive at her destiny here. It's simply that you are unnecessary. Sheenie, she doesn't love you. She doesn't know what love is. You don't know anything. Well, she broke her coven for me. The sacrifice that I have made just here to see my daughter reach actualization is something you could never understand. Oh, stuff it. You did that for power. You could care less about who stood in Roshin's shoes. You don't even know her. By this insect, Roshin. You just want what she's going to provide you. A pathway to Milani and the power that her magic can provide you. You don't know anything about Roshin and what she's been through. before you, her palms upturned. Take my hands. Sheeny, don't do it. Mother. Remember, I'm almost done. She, she takes her hands, but kind of cups them and folds them together. 
I've got one more present for you. I'll take care of it, and we'll walk out of here together. You see her almost, like, kind of start to shake. And the first real display of emotion that you've seen come from your mother in any of these interactions. My child, please understand the words of this woman. This half-blooded wretch are worthless. Only through this coven, through this bond, can you too shed the weight in your own blood. I needed your father. It's the course of nature when you've outgrown your human side. Cast it off, Roisin. It does nothing but hold you back. Of course. I understand. We all have to grow up eventually. One more thing. It's right in front of us. It's right there. Strymalura doesn't matter. Cobbler doesn't matter. And this, you see the dragon kind of shift. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I miss here? What are you talking about me? Samadhi kind of grits her teeth and shuts her eyes together. Boy! All that has ordained this day by the fates themselves, Rasheen. I will make you understand. And you see a fire ignite behind her eyes. And you see her veins start to pronounce themselves across her face, down her arms, glowing with a burning power. She almost starts to well. Now, now, mother. And this fire inside her coalesces as the veins start to tear cracks in her skin. It starts to rip itself apart at the force of the heat within her. Now, we're going to take a break. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> we suck. Uh. We're going to take last break of the cobbler arc of our adventures actually and when we return oh we're boy. gonna roll some initiative here time to hunt some dargons oh boy we'll be right back in a couple of minutes everybody don't go too far the finale of the fires of the haunted city it's just a couple minutes away take our bathroom break now Welcome back, everybody. How do you steal ankles that are currently in lock? As we <laughs> left off. You have such difficulty. You have such mommy issues. Machine's mother here has apparently grown tired of trying to impress upon her daughter the gravity of this moment. And in her rage, fire running down her veins, literally starting to blast gaps in her skin as flame licks at it. The whole Ooh. of her skin explodes off of her body in a flash of fire, leaving almost an entirely different figure beneath. Mom, I said but just five more minutes. Five <laughs> You're coming now! <laughs> Long, kick in the van. dark white hair. <laughs> Almost billowing behind her from the heat coming out of her body as she erupts skin near porcelain in paleness. This skin suit she had been wearing blasted asunder. Most of her body burning white with heat. I have a hero point for you, Roisin. Oh boy. It's about to have her full name called out. <laughs> Take this to prepare from Hanson. You're going to hear a middle name you didn't even know you had. That's it. That's yep. it. And we are going to roll some 
Initiative. Gerkaha. Samadhi that. obviously is crossing a line here and has simultaneously uh, decided to uh, exhaust her goodwill with Strymalura, who in the back is also done clearly with all of you. With all of our <laughs> And is just kind of moving. Get out of my house! If it matters, battle cry. You can battle cry at Samadhi. <laughs> um, well, uh, Call to Arms gives everyone a plus <laughs> three. <laughs> Two. Plus three to initiative. What kind of bonus? It's a status bonus. Oh, good. Yeah. Is it? And is it just you or? Everybody. It's all of you. Oh, that I'll, I'll um, use it. Tamati gets it too. Tamati gets it too. Fair enough. And she and everyone's gonna get uh, seven temporary hit points. So if you want oh, to, nice. uh, yeah, you. move the night hag. Put Rasheen and her mom down by the shore. Yep. Everybody over here. Put me by Focus. the lip of the entrance. Yeah, put yourselves where you would have been while this conversation was happening. I wouldn't have fully come sure. into the room. Yeah, because we were just in <laughs> nugget mode. Marshall it was right behind you for sure. Yeah, because I was put yeah. him right up with you. Marshall was very concerned. <laughs> like this is my buddy. Listen, Rez, Resme, and Prashik all kind of scattered around the back here. And Take it. move me one tile farther back. Oh, are we actually rolling an ship? He I told us not, to. Uh, oh, obviously, sorry. Tamati being Roshan's mom does not exist in the Red Adventure, so we'll go ahead and use this. this Rhymalura, however, very much does. And we had ample time to prepare. <sighs> She's beautiful. See, you know the advantage of having tabletop nerds who have a lot of paints and a 3D printer? And you have a painting wizard on your team? Go and pass this down. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, hefty yeah, lens right there. It's a there. lot of resin. So much resin. Put her down. Yeah, you could turn her around, put the table cam yeah. on for a sec so we can, uh, so we can get a decent little shot over here. Yeah, golems are getting turn real advanced. Just push her a little bit more towards Marshall. I gotcha. There you go. A little back as well. A little too far. Put her... Oh. There you go. Right there. What about this okay. bastard? Not pretty good. It's still perfect. All right. Give us. Yeah, just put a regular token next to it. Just for, yeah, we gotta get a sense of scale on how large this dragon is here. Look at that. That's Marshall. This mini is great. All right. Give us our. Get us in Sirenscape here. Get us our final battle music. Oof. Oh man. Around this way this time. Raz. Raz is shaking. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just give you this. So go ahead. Reroll that one. <laughs> He's okay. very spooked. Well, he probably should be. There is a oh, massive it's dragon. Six better, so a total of a 31. All right. Rasheen. 38. 38. Resume. 36. Oh, sorry. 36. Who wants to go first? Okay. Rat, go first. Marshall. Um, Marshall was not exactly as ready for this as he thought, so he got a 28. Marshall was very confused about what was happening here. I have a lot. 44. 44. I've been staring daggers into Strymalura, waiting for her to make a move. Been super ready for action here. Let's get Strymalura on the board. Marshall was like, is that how babies are made? That was a really made? heavy die yes, you just rolled. <laughs> that may have just been magma. See that. Um... <laughs> Is Roshin part magma? 43. I was waiting. From Strymalur. I was ready. You were so ready. My favorite lizard. I saw her about to do something and dip. No. Oof. And Tamati is also getting the plus three here. 45. Oh. So. Battle cry. Yeah, you, I mean, you, I don't think Rasheen's battle crying, but uh, I'm not battle crying my mom. You could I mean, be strong oh, close too, enough. She's too far away. Too far. Yeah, she's too okay. Far. Marshall, you can battle cry at Tamati here as this begins. That's not a bad one. Uh, math 38. 38. Um, yeah, this is not a. Is very focused in one direction here. That's hmm. definitely not quite going to do it. Doesn't hurt direct. Can I get a recall on his, her mom? On the on, on, on the mom. Okay. 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 
I have a lot of questions, and that's all I've been thinking about. The dragon. Forget Bardic. about the dragon. This is actually dragon. occultism. Yeah, guess what that is. Is it also 20? No, it's 24. I was going to say, surely it's 24. higher than your base bardic yeah, yeah, lore. Yeah, yeah. 24. <clears throat> um, so you would be able to see the Rasheen's like bomb here. Uh, you, you know, the good <laughs> news is you have the clearest evidence ever, if you've had any suspicions, <laughs> as she literally explodes in fire, blasting the skin off of her body. You are 100% confident that Tamati is a blood hag. And blood hags, more than just their name would imply, are masters of blood and fire both. Hmm. This, I'm gonna get to say this unironically, this isn't even her final form. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting so long. As blood hags can quite literally compress themselves into a near singularity of burning fire a single moat that radiates enough heat to burn down a stone castle. That's their true being. Even this is almost like a half measure just from rage on her part. Lovely. But as she does explode, um, I am going to need everybody to make a reflex save. She's oh. not trying to hurt you, but she's losing her cool a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> And the explosion kind of comes with that. Yeah. Hey. Tensies. Tens for, tens for everyone. Tens for everyone. Uh, Math. Um, Rez. 27. Critically fail. Roshin. 35. That will regular fail. Resume. 33. That will regular fail. For she. 35. That so I take half. Regular fail. So you take half. Uh, Marshall. 30. Will regular fail. Raz is just Not completely. This. So yeah, this is, yeah, it's very sudden. It's, it's yeah. one action that she blows up. It's incredibly sudden. Um, as she erupts and this fire washes over all of you, uh, it is you feel that it's not again she's not doing this intentionally it just sort of happened as she loses control mm -hmm. it's going to do 44 damage fire damage to the four of you and 88 to okay, so, so we have fire resistance 15 right yeah yep. fire resistance 15 plus the, the seven temp hit points from... yeah okay so we'll say instead of 29. 44 then it's 22 would be yeah, it's actually exactly 22 resistance. You divide it exactly in half. Well, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so 22? Be, yeah, you guys all take 22 and you take 66. I okay. take zero. Because you take half and with all your resistance, you take nothing. Yep, for she, because it exactly, it exactly the temp to zero. With the tap, you lose your tap health. Mm -hmm. but yeah, you I don't, lose you don't my temp health, but damage. it doesn't actually hit me. <clears throat> oh. Thoughts. Are I'm right. doing a lot of math right now. His head. Fair enough. Mathematicals. Almost no, numbers half are. my health. Numbers but are hard. as she loses failure. her cool, you see her kind of look around for a moment, almost in a state of panic, and then look back and meet Rasheen's gaze. Hands still, uh, hands not so much flesh anymore, as just this moat of fire between you. Son of Temporalis! And her and Rasheen are gonna disappear. Um, recognize spell. I get it as a free action. Sure. Give me an occultism check. Can you put me back so I know where I am at least? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a one. Uh, it's a thing. You got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was Oh, that? it's a spell. Trishik, you see out in the pool of lava, Strymalura is, well, insulted, rightfully so, <laughs> and is very upset with everybody in this general direction. She's going to eat an assassinate. Okay. And I'm going to shoot her with my bow, aiming for her mouth as she goes to say something in her state of indignance. D disgust? Disgust, and you, you upsetness. Beat, you beat her, so she's flat-footed. You make arch support for that. And I will re-roll the five because I want this to hit. It doesn't have to be a crit. I just want this to hit. Hitting would be nice. Hitting's important. 
You're gonna do it. You got this. To a one. No, no luck. <clears throat> and uh, as she comes out of something, as you fire this arrow, you fire it true directly into her mouth, but you see it just kind of glance. It's it's harmless. Uh, dragons are incredibly formidable. But you appear as. I still have one more action. Is assassin not three? No, it's two. Oh, uh, mark for death is three. Fair yeah. enough. You have one action left. Move into cover. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly slinks around the I'm corner move a little ten further. Ten feet behind the wall, where I'm hopefully out of range of whatever she's about to do. Strymalora, hey, suckers! Beyond indignant, ah. pulls her head back, and as she's speaking, you can see fire welling up in her throat. As the rightful queen of Sagarak, I will not suffer such insults and blasts. A huge wave of white hot magma oh, out of her mouth. Um, I need Raz, Resme, and Marshall to make reflex saves. Oh, you are out of the way, Rashik. And Roshin is out of the way? You're not there. You're gone. That's right. Oh, yeah. You and Roshin disappeared. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know That's if it was disappear you. as in I am invisible. No, or... you are gone. Okay. You're physically not there. Raz sees it coming, <laughs> falls on his butt, and tries to just duck to cover. It's not a blast. This is a huge breath. Yeah, I see out. it coming. But we don't have triangular things. Like, on I'm not board. sure Full if I want to use panic. my hero point or not, honestly. Uh, 20? Ooh! <laughs> uh, I took a three to a two. Ooh! All right, Raz, what'd you get? Uh, it was a reflex, right? Yep. 24. You almost double critically failed, if that makes you feel better. That makes me feel great. Uh, resume? 39. I will regular fail. Marshall? 33. Just doesn't critically fail. One off critically oh, fail. Oh, boy. Good thing I wasn't raging. Oh, yeah, raging. You're critically <laughs> fail. <laughs> You're so happy to lose initiative? Yep, that is the only time I'm happy with it. You're going to take 28 points of fire damage. So 13. Minus 15. Uh, yep. Raz 36, minus 15, so uh, 21. Oof. If that seems low. There's more for now. Because magma's pretty solid. It's mostly physical. That's just the fire part. Oh. Um, and an additional 24 points of bludgeoning damage. So 48 for Raz. 48 bludgeoning damage for Raz. Okay. You up? I'm still standing. And as this washes oh, over you, uh, again, this magma, this is not the fiery breath of your average dragon. This is a wave of magma. It splatters across this entire <clears throat> landing, blasting with an incredibly powerful physical force. And uh, those of you who failed, which is everybody on the platform, you are coated in this magma as well. Mm. Not just burning alive as it cakes to you, but uh, also heavily limited in your movement. You are all, uh, take a 10 foot status penalty to your speeds as well. I thought you were about to say slowed one. I was about to say. A dot, and I was like, this is, no, that's <laughs> absurd. Nah. But that is, uh, that is all she has for this turn. And she raises her head back dismissively almost. <laughs> <laughs> she sees this just wash away the three of you that are still on the platform Ooh, here. We just left. Oh, boy. <laughs> Roshin. You, as she casts this spell, feel the world kind of spin around you for a brief moment and go black almost in an instant. Mm -hmm. And you're not entirely sure what happened <laughs> for a moment before everything starts to slowly come back. And you can see yourself, and your mother, standing in front of you, hands still clasped together, no longer a flame, but porcelain white with the long white hair, as she had been after her eruption. No hint of fire. The two of you stand in a void, of complete blackness, though you can see her with perfect clarity, as well as yourself, but there's just nothing around you. You feel firm footing, of some kind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mother. Mother. I didn't... There, there's a dragon to kill. The dragon doesn't matter. Please. Rasheen. Please. 
take her hands. Please. I can't let it end like this. I sacrificed my coven for this. Roshin, I've given everything for this. You'll have if me. If it's what it takes to have you understand, then you can watch as you lose yours. And uh, beneath you, in this blackness, you can see almost as if you're looking down from above on high through this battle. Somehow through the ceiling of the cavern, it's kind of minuscule below. You can see Strymalura's breath obliterate. Marshall, Rez, and Rez Maester Sheik hides around the corner. Then watch if it helps. Mother, I can, I can, it's not a coven. I can walk away from it. I can outgrow it. I can join you willingly. Please, please. There is no power gained without sacrifice, Roshin. It is the peace. Source. Maybe it is best that you feel this now. How can I can I... And just with a scream, uh, she's gonna draw uh, an orb of blackness in her hand and throw it down to where she can see the dragon. I'm not sure if that's gonna if you, be able to uh, hit her or not. But pitch uh, it down. Uh, make me a will save. Uh, I'm going to give you this here hero point as she is solely devoted on trying to stop this Much from better. happening. Much better. Uh, that's going to be a 42. Well, 42, as you focus and throw this, you, when you do the incantation. She doesn't stop you. You do the motion. You envision everything about this spell. And you see the orb fly down, just try to lure a manifest and erupts in a pulse of darkness, blackening the entire view for a moment as if the lights had gone out before it comes back completely unchanged. And you realize this window you're looking through here is it's a vision, but it has no real connection. You are no longer on the same plane as your party. So Mahdi has taken you somewhere else entirely. You did not expend the spell. You're not, you didn't really cast it. Huh. You thought you did. You put in everything into it, but your motions seem almost slow. Like you have to force yourself as if you're drifting through a dream. It doesn't actually expend any of your power. <clears throat> this can't be real. Rez. This is real. Oh, this is interesting. <clears throat> Miss, Miss Resme, who has a hero point, fortunately, from Mr. T 1976. If you Ooh. want to pass that one down the table. Dude, you Your words manifesting. I pity the fool. Um, ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna. Rez does not look good, I imagine. Rez does not look good at all. Very burnt. Get behind the wall. The what about the dragon? Less to worry about than staying alive. Raz is going to. How tall up is this room? It's massive. This kid's right? chamber is enormous. The ceiling arch is what must be nearly a hundred feet overhead. It is a huge, open amphitheater for this battle. Right now, Raz is going to cast Wall of Force. You're going to hear him inside. La la, bless. And instead of it being a wall. Vertical, it's going to be flipped on its side, so 20 feet across, 50 feet up. Okay, so kind of almost extending this wall in front of you. It's going to, yeah, it's going to be just make it a wall all the way up to the ceiling, blocking us from the dragon. Like it's going to be at a diagonal. Okay. Yeah. So, so you have a plane. It's not. It's not be, yeah. There you go. You have so, a. So yeah. Instead of that, it's going to be that. Yeah. You you have it standing upright. Basically, it's it's 20 feet tall, so it is going to be enough to shield three of you, <clears> um, <throat> and you would all see a brief shimmer of something as he casts it, because again, it is completely invisible. You guys can't see it. There you go, perfect. Uh, extending your safety here, at least providing it's, some. It's all the way up. Resume. Ember in fuego totalis shall intone out, and you'll actually see lava fly out of the pit and start to swirl and form around her as her very being transforms into a body of fire. And okay. Resme's eyes glow with the same embers that Strymalora does. That's gonna be fiery body. 
All right. Hey, so, you know that thing I, I said earlier about fiery body and swim through the tunnels? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> that fiery body, as you see, you take almost the form of a fire elemental here. Is that three actions or is it uh, it's two? two? You got one left. Um, I am going to move. I'm going to stay in front of Raz and I'm going to throw up a shield. Okay. Hands Marshall face with the dragon a billion feet away. I see Resme do this. I'm like, oh, you could do that too, can't you? Well. When in doubt, first things first, just in case. Battle potato. <laughs> his response is to pull a potato out of his beard and eat it. Nat 20 on battle potato. All right. You get 2d8, or 4d8 plus 10 health back. All right. So I'll just double this since I only have 2d8s on me. Yeah, just double it. Yeah. Oh, low. I'm doubling most stuff I roll yeah, at this point because it's way too much 10, work to roll 18. Plus 10, right? Plus 10, yes. 24 total. Thank you. Because math is hard. So I mean, I'll take, the hit, I'll take the hit points as much as I can at this point. 24, 24 hit points back real quick. Uh, math. Math is hard. Okay. And then... Uh, Marshall is... Uh, he's a little concerned, but he believes in the power of friendship. So... It's dwarfing time. Like a Marshall. Absolute gigantic. Uh, he too turns into an elemental of some sorts, and then he points his giant big red towards Dragmalora. Come play, beastie. Intimidate. So he's a little too far away. But you uh, can, a little too far? You can growl it out and, and, and just invite her over for uh, dinner. And but, psych yourself up with your last action. I mean, I get temp, my temp HP when I rage, and it's better than I, my psych. That's true, yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. You I can't exceed it. Um, I guess with my last action, I'll just look scary yeah i mean you can be it you can't mechanically and you can absolutely intimidate her you can't it's not gonna like give her frightened okay uh trishik well i'm going to sneak up to the uh to the edge there where i had taken my previous shot rolling for it because i'm no longer confident in the assurance <laughs> handling this anymore yeah she's a spooky dragon spooky dragon so that's a 32. uh 32 will fail which, Which is fine, because you succeed, because you have Sneak Savant. And uh, coming up to that edge, I'll peek around and take another shot. And it will plink off the wall of force yep, that that's I exactly don't what I was going to say. Like, I pre good, good role playing. <laughs> I was going to say, it plinks off the wall of force, but you now see that that's there. And it glances off. And you've seen Raz cast enough times, you know, something is... I couldn't uh, see where forth. he even casted it originally, because I was yeah. around the corner. I mean, it's a, it never even, like, flamers realistically. Yeah. Like, it's invisible the entire time. But that will leave you with an action still. I'll look at Raz. How far exactly does this go? And Aruxi, about 50 feet up. Approximately, give or take. I'll start climbing <laughs> up the stone wall, not the wall of force. Oh, yeah. You can absolutely do that. Uh, and as you work your way, what's your climb speed? 25. 25, you work your way halfway up the uh, the wall of force here? Or 20, but I mean, uh, tomato, tomato. Climbing up the side. Tomato, tomato. Strymalura surges up through the water. Her whole body serpentining as she almost, uh, the, the water for her. Fire water. <laughs> hot water. The spicy she, water. She spicy propels water. herself up to all, right almost on the shore of this island. And then she rises up looking at Marshall. You think there is anything you can do here, you child? Manibus ignum! And raises a claw and casts out a blast of fire that washes across the outside of the wall of force. <laughs> That's why I'm not even bothering looks, using my AO. What is this cowardice? <laughs> Marshall points to laugh. That's the one hiding in a pool of lava. So, Rasheen, you can still see this playing out beneath you, uh, almost unreal at distance. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna have this. Damn it, damn it. Milani, tug me. Um, that's Divine Vessel. Uh, she's going to swell in size and briars are going to uh, wrap up around her. Maybe I will save. Yeah, let's try a will save. Leave this on. Is it 18? Eight on the die. I believe in you. Uh, Keep it. You have Iron Will. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, it didn't work last time. <laughs> <laughs> it rolled pretty well, too. Uh, yeah, I rolled really well and it didn't work out, yeah. but let's try it. Would, um, you, would you like to no. No. accept the no. curse? No, Don't no, do no, it. No. <laughs> this is not the time for you it. You go suck up someone else's luck. 
<laughs> yeah. Here you go. You have my luck. <laughs> no, it steals uh, from him no matter who rolls it. So that's uh, no. 31, 32, 32, 33. <laughs> 33 uh, and 33. 33. As you cast a spell and you kind of focus for a second, you, you do this incantation, you do the motion. And uh, Tamati still just kind of stands there, her hands together, just watching you as you cast. Just kind of shakes her head. As nothing happens, nothing manifests at all. Just drop to my knees and just in frustration, just pound my fists on the floor. I know, Roisin, that it's painful now. And again, maybe it has to be, and I don't want to have to do this to you, but you make me. It's the only way to make you see. You can't help them, Roisin. There's nothing you can do. This is as far beyond them as if it was a simple dream. This... Fortunately, it is something that I have learned, Kalamid. The value of the power of such things. The adjacent planes and their energies, they're augmentative. They can let you see, but you can't interfere. And uh, Tamadi, as she speaks, she puts a hand down on your shoulder, and you feel her grip tighten, like even through your full plate, painfully so. And she holds you down. The other hand, like, literally runs to the back of your hair to force you to look down at the battle that's happening before. So just watch. And when they're gone, you can cast this aside. And we can become everything we were meant to be, Roisin. Damn it. Please. Please. All right, all right. Mr. Marshall. <laughs> um, <laughs> get that Malachite out of get, here. Get out of here. I held it for me this out. Malachite. This is going to be sketchy. Um, and then Dwarf is going to I'm going to extend some sort of platform, but be careful not to go too far. Aye. La 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 fuck. And um, I cast another wall of force right on the bottom. Like south of her? Yeah, south okay. of her, so it runs adjacent to her. I was going to say, she is like half in the lava, so you can't put it yeah. through her, but you can put it alongside her yes. across the top of the uh, the walkway here, for sure. Um, uh, south is trying to lower horizontally. There we go. Perfect. And then it should stretch 10 squares. I believe it's 50 feet long. Yeah, it's 50 feet long. And uh, as you encant that into being... One more down. And one more south of that, so it's not on her tile. Uh, Resme. Uh, Roisin will yell out. Resme will yell out. <laughs> what are, where are our minds right now? <laughs> Too many and, and the three of you, is your coated still in this magma that's kind of clinging to you and burning. I mean, I don't care. The, yeah, the, you don't care at all, and the resist elements is enough to stave off uh, any actual damage you would have been taking. Uh, it's unpleasant, and it's cloying, and it's limiting, but it's not physically burning you, because fire since 15, it, it can't get through that. Um, Resme will yell out, Roisin, I don't know you, if you can hear me, but this is it. This is your time. Call upon Milani, and for the first time in your life, really pray and believe it. And then uh, she'll uh, cast out uh, Invictum, and uh, she will throw a level 7 triple magic missile, and she'll send the missiles coursing around. Uh, the wall of force. Yeah, they, don't, they don't have they, to they, aim. They do not care. They're just going to slam into her at full you force. You need line of effect. So can I? Move? You can move in double action magic. That's missile? fine. Then I'll make it a level five. Okay, get on the other side of Marshall and two actions no, it, into it for sure. Okay. Because you need you need you need line of effect. No, that's fine. Blink, blink. <laughs> yeah, don't know if she wants to get that close. close enough. Close enough. I think it's six, six. Yeah. It's a level five, right? Yeah. So you get two. No, no, you get three per. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Uh, twenty-one force damage. It's gonna strike and hit her around like the snout and the neck as she flinches back a bit. Marshall. I kind of. Tip my skull helmet towards Rez. Thank you for the platform. And I'm just going to walk on over to uh, the platform. So you and... do have minus 10 speed right now. 
as this magma still stuck around you. So you speed 15. Sudden charge. <laughs> Actually, it's time. It's time to sudden charge. I was about to say, plus I have 20. I have fleet, so it's tw I have 25 movement speed. Normally. Yeah, so it's so 15. 15. Oh, minus it, 10. oh, yeah, so it's minus 10. So my, you can go, my apologies. You can, it's sudden charge lets you do twice. So you can charge 30, and you can just stampede over Resme <laughs> cool. around to Strymalera's flank here. I mean, I just kind of like... <laughs> And as you go to uh, come around and swing at her, she lowers a wing between the two of you defensively to stave off the blow. Minus one, because I'm still whatever. So, uh, 36. Uh, 36 is, is going to connect, but again, this is not even just a mere dragon, if that's a statement that can ever be uttered. Yeah. Uh, she is near impenetrable. As even Big Red comes and she kind of glances that blow off of her enormous wing as it skates across her stone scales. Uh, you have one action left. When in doubt, take another swing. Better. Can't wing block this one. Uh, that's no, it's actually worse. Thank you, Trishy. <laughs> yeah, thanks. With, with the map, it would be a nine. So uh, uh, it, it, whatever it doesn't matter. <laughs> continue up the I was trying to do a number real quick in my head but I guess it doesn't matter um, with another move you could get up and you could kind of almost like feel your way along this wall of force as you're going to the top that's why I'm sticking along the side so I yeah. don't accidentally run you would off very the much just be fall. exposed to strike Malura like you would not be hidden anymore because you're kind of out here yeah. to be able to take a shot at her. I mean, you shot anyway, you know that. Uh, but one move action would get you kind of where you feel, if you feel the top of this 50 feet up above the battle here. And though she is quite large, if you were to raise her wings, they could probably reach up to you. Um, well, you are above all of this now a little. What I will do is I will turn invisible oh. and sneak my way up the wall Okay. until I'm up there. Then you get a one sneaky attack. Mm-hmm. And that's the same roll as before. So let's do good on sneaking. And once we get to the top of the wall, I'll look out over the edge and fire a shot straight down at her. Go for the spinal bits. You gotta go for the soft bits. They're armored from the there front. There are no soft bits. And below. There, <laughs> there are soft bits. The dice says there are soft bits. See, that's an eight. <laughs> I'm the soft bitch. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, um, 27... 37, or 35. So, 35 yeah. absolutely is not going to uh, hit even on her flat footed. No, as Sarah no. was again going to glance off of her near impenetrable hind. And as uh, she enra enraged here, as Marshall strides out over the magma to face her, she's going to see you walk out across this. Feeling confident now, are you? Uh, kind of lower her head down and just butt it into you. Uh, oh, she like you. Just a cat. Shove. I wonder how much space you got there. Oh boy. Uh. Hmm. And this is against your uh, Fort DC. So oh. your Fort plus 10. 37 is the DC to break. It's gonna be a 40. So it's gonna push you back five feet. And you're gonna feel as she shoves you backwards, your feet slip and your feet ah. almost for a second wave. You just off kinda. The very edge of the wall of force. <laughs> As he's just holding her off, he, he's just kind of gritted to a little help here. And then she's gonna rip her head upwards, uh, slashing at you with these two horns before savaging out with a pair of claws. Uh, attack the first. Technically the second. Yeah, well, I would map of these. It does have multiple attack penalty, yes. Um, as she kind of flips her head upward, it's only gonna be a 32. I don't think that's gonna hit no, you. No, that's not gonna hit. Um, following it up, with a swipe from the claw at a 36. That will hit. And the second claw at a 34. Hits. Yeah. Multiple attack penalty does not go higher than two. Uh, but both normal hits. So she's going to catch you once and then twice with these uh, these claw attacks. I have a D10 that's not a percentile. I can just roll a percentile. It doesn't matter. Yeah, same thing. Uh, first claw attack is going to do 36 points of slashing damage. Okay. Second claw attack is going to do 35 points of slashing damage. So you're going to take 71 points of slashing damage from the two claw attacks. 71? Oh boy. All right, math time. While you math, 
up above in great quotation marks. Mm. Rasheen, you see this battle unfolding below you silently as Marshall strides out and Strymalura shoves back against him, kind of almost putting her incredible bulk down as she savages forth with her claws. Uh, Mother literally holding your head down to watch this. Um, tears are starting to well up in her eyes. Um, she feels very helpless. Um, but uh, maybe Resme's suggestion is right. I can hear them, right? I imagine Tamani wouldn't have wanted to spare me the dying screams of my friends. Yeah, you can. I, I'd give you. I'd give you the audio as well. Okay. Um, and uh, she'll whisper a prayer uh, to Milani uh, for for support. Um, the other half of her uh, of her mystic power, and and just see if she can get enough of a foothold with it. Just begging for just enough of an edge to try. Make me a will save. It's a 13 on the die. Goes to a 40. Well, 40, as you focus this energy here, you pray to Milani. What is it you're trying to do? Let me out. Let me get there and help. You pray and you see almost a small... Okay, so if you feel it more than you see it, it's almost calling you down back below. Some escape from this realm she has you trapped in. And uh, Tamati notices this too. As she does, she just almost hisses, Fushin, please work with me here. I have given everything for you. This realm is beyond feeble gods. Your conduit to this magic is awe-inspiring to be certain, but if you would just give in to the birthright that is your blood, you could be a god yourself. We could be gods. And uh, you feel the hand expand to not just fit your shoulder, the one, uh, but to fit around your entire back as you see clawed fingers come down around you. And you can see almost to your side, Tamati standing here, looming over this entire scene. Now, stories tall. Her hair hanging almost down to frame this fight below with a stark contrast of this bright white as her enormous gaze almost physically exerts pressure on you as she holds you here. But call, call to your God, channel that power, channel this gift. I cannot even imagine what it will let us do once we are joined as one. 20 years, mother, 26 years, and you can't give me five more minutes. Oh, and she's gonna reach out for that gap, clawing at it desperately, uh, trying to crawl you her way feel down. Feel yourself getting closer. Rez. Rez is very hot. He's gonna move 15 feet down, directly 10 feet above um, Resume. Okay, so just kind of the center of the platform here almost. Yeah, yeah right there. And then <laughs> give me a second to breathe. He sings himself a Yusoki lullaby as he casts Soothe on himself at a seventh level. That's his whole turn. And as you heal yourself, Resme and Marshall, even with this fire resistance from uh, Resme, it's pretty powerful in uh, abjuration here. Uh, magma hot. I need you both to make reflex saves, just from the sheer proximity. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, you're uh, immune. I'm uh, immune. Marshall, you just need to make one. A reflex, you said? Reflex, I guess. Oh, Your toes are starting to slip in. I'm definitely going to redeem this here. Because reflex is not exactly the best trait for a barbarian, especially with clumsy too. Oh, God, that's hey. Nice. Oh. You did the thing I do all the time. Oh, that's a 25. Five was a regular failure. It's not like it's just lava, which is a thing you can only say to a party of 14th level or higher. It's just lava. <laughs> You're not in it. You can do yet, a lot worse. Yet. You yet. take 32 <laughs> points of fire damage, so you'll take 17, 17? after your resistance. Uh, well, that's not bad. That's not terrible, but it's... And uh, Resume, it is your turn. Uh, Resume will step a little... Um, 
do I have her in a cone if I step to the side a little? Maybe if you go forward. Yeah, if, if you I go, go forward, forward a little? towards the wall of force, up towards the edge here, uh, she'd absolutely yeah. be in a cone that you could exclude Marshall from for sure. You blast around the wall of force. In Friga! And I'll throw out uh, a cone of cold because ironically, the great pillar of elemental fire can in fact do that. Give me a reflex save. Does not inhibit your spell casting. I am a fire wizard shooting ice. Or fire. That's how you trick them. 37. Uh, 37 will be a normal success, so she will take half. She's going to take half, but as you see this hit her, it almost quenches the flames around her body. She reels back, screeching in agony. Uh, definitely weak to cold. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, Del, who could have possibly foreseen As you that? rolled, the dragon made of lava is weak to cold. As you rolled that res, <laughs> hero point from Ghost of Design for giving Ooh. the party a platform here. We're playing platformers now. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I see a couple sixes. That's that's always a good thing. It's going to be uh, 24 points of cold damage. Okay, so that's the half? Yep, that's the half. It's uh, a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> 100 cold weakness. It's not 100, <laughs> but it's pretty big. She's gonna, she's not gonna be happy about that one. Uh, Marshall. Ugh. Marshall's looking a little tore up, but he's gonna psych himself up regardless. And he's gonna do a smart thing and- Oh yeah, shield. Oh no, I moved. You moved him. Sorry. Yeah. He, he's, he's gonna do a smart thing and just move a little bit closer away from the edge. I am so oh, proud boy. of you, Ryan. I am so <laughs> I forgot no my idea. See, I'm oh, sure. screaming that in my head. Raz and all his haste. Don't be in a cone together. <laughs> Mar- Marshall, maybe you know a little bit dumb, but he 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 was in the military. He knows some battle tactics. He knows lava bad. Lava bad. Uh, so that's two actions. Move, psych up, and he, last action, he's gonna attempt a smacky smack. What's with H today? I don't know, dude. Uh, that's. Probably not going to hit because that's she a 34. Throws her wing up and uh, yeah, no. flex this one as well. Syed. Uh, to Sheik. Don't worry. I'm sure Oshin will be back soon. I'll uh, go down to them as I'm, what, like 50 feet in the air? 50 feet off the wall, yeah. Yeah, yeah, on the air. Their wall air thing. You have like 25 feet of clearance between you and like the main bulk of the dragon down there. So I could intimidate her. You could intimidate her, yes. Okay. I'm going to try that. And when she does come back, I certainly hope you're not here. And that's a 33? 33 is not going to do it. Hmm. Two actions left. 31. Even worse. Well, I'm going to shoot her with the bow. You're still behind the wall. He's very focused on martial arts. I'm at the top of the wall. Oh, okay. Never mind. He's, yeah, he's literally She's bad. very focused. All of her efforts on Marshall here, for sure. That is a seven, so... Uh, it blew it all 34. The, the hot boy is there. Yeah. Mm. not going to hit. One action left. 20. One action left. Do and it. I'll just go on ahead and roll a one. <laughs> See, the morale of 20. having Roisin not here affects Dude, everybody. Turn it off. Apparently. the conduit of your RNG. I, was about yeah. to say, I think Roisin's the mascot of the party. I mean, Heaven, Jesus I would like left. to... Normally, I don't mind being a tank, but in this situation, not so much. See, the crazy not thing so hot. is she to take hits for me. It's not so hot, is it? Well, the crazy thing about uh-huh. it is it's not like I'm missing her. They're just doing nothing. Yeah, they're just... It's, She's so big, you can't miss. Yeah. Yeah. And she uh, still kind of focused on Marshall here as you step back up and take a swing, and she shunts it off with one ring, uh, brings her head back down to headbutt down towards you, uh, almost her whole front half up as she comes down with the horns and the claws near simultaneously, just bringing the whole of her body weight down out of the magma to bear her against Marshall. Another shove action, I would presume. No, this is just a bunch of attacks. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's so much better. Attack the first. You were bigger than she thought you were. Yeah, yeah you didn't go all this. You heard her push one time. Yeah. It's going to be a 49. That is a horns. crit. Oh, wait. Fortif- Fortification. Oh, Fortification. Fortification. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh! Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. It it like dinks and then fades. I'm like, it even lo- he looks down going, uh oh. <laughs> she slams her horns down into you. You're gonna take 62 points of piercing damage, and the claws are following. 62, you 62. say? 62. You still up? I'm still up. Very shortly after. Uh, not not very. Marshall was looking worse for wear. Claw the first. Um. 
she's all gonna capitalize on the momentum she's got here as she pushes down against you. And I'm going to use a villain point to re-roll that one, because re-roll that too. Um, 33. Exact. Rerolled it to exact lethal. Exact hit. The second claw doing 32 points of slashing damage. 32? Okay. You still up? Uh, for now. Claw the third. Oh boy. This is not looking good. Is it a 20? That looks like 20 to me. Claw the third as she forces through with this full assault. Yeah. Natural 20. There's no way the total misses, is there? And I'm going to presume that the fortification room only works one per crit. I, no, no, you can no, roll, go, no, go, no, go. You can roll oh, it. Do it. Time. I didn't know that, so. Yeah, roll it again. Nope. Ah. 50 points of slashing damage. With that second slash, Marshall kind of like gets a giant gash across his chest and starts falling down and shrinking. And you just see him live, almost lifeless on the, back on the down wall to force. Tiny Marshall on the wall. And she turns her head towards Resme and just opens her mouth and roars ferociously in your face. Beyond words at this point. Victorious and triumphant. I need three of you that are still here and conscious to make will saves. Oh, is this a... Is this, this a, is fear, a fear, effect? fear effect? Oh, is baby. It fear effect is an auditory effect. Oh, God. Um, it's tech... It's technically not. She's she, the roar is, is flavoring, but it's just her presence. I, I actually have uh, something just against her that. power. Quick question. It's an emotion, fear, mental. Okay. Since I went down to a crit, am I dying one you or are two? You're dying two. Oh, to wear a visual. Huh? Yay. It's just emotion, mental. Okay. I have rage and resistance, so I don't know if that does anything for the situation. Please just do show. Okay. Dying two. Awesome. Yep. 34. 34 is a success. You were critical success. Oh, critical success. All right. Resume? 42. It was a regular success. Critical success, right? Huh? No. No. Who do you think I am? You are frightened one. Uh, Trishit? 28. As a regular failure, you are frightened two. Roshin, as you see this battle turning below you here, Samadhi. This almost speaking, her voice just coming from the area around you more than just her mouth, as if she's just this presence here alongside you. You see, you see how quickly they fall without you. You are the only thing holding this worthless trash together. You are beyond them. You are above them. Then I'll show you this power I have. I'll show you this power and what it can do. And again, she's gonna just throw her will uh, and claw at the f probably leaving bloody streaks along whatever barrier is there as she's trying to rip her way through the. Make me a will save. Uh, we have a bunch of hero points that we, we haven't have done, have, uh, including one for her. I got it's literally it's it's just her and uh, I think I think I Raz. Gave you the did I not give you the Dan Bennett's? I did not give you Dan Bennett's. Uh, I saw the Raz one. Heroes, okay. It was a me. Uh, I went next to each other. I hardly ever see it. You have a hero point for this. From Dan Bennett 360 and Marshall, perhaps to stave off the dying. That would be nice. Thank you. Zero points. Nice. All right. Uh, 46. 46 is just. It's a regular fail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll succeed. And as you kind of push down. Succeed goes to critical success. Yes. You feel yourself getting through here. And you see Tamati's other hand just come into your view, like interposing in the way as if to pull you back up. Don't be difficult, mother. <laughs> and she goes to speak. And you can almost feel like the vibrations, just the power of her voice, but you don't hear anything. And only for a brief moment, you hear a different voice. I'll switch it. It's masculine. It's very unfamiliar. It's something entirely alien to you. It sounds almost... Rating. Hmm. Thought. I think I've finally made contact. 
Mm, go. I'll be coming back after, though. Wait, what? And you see <laughs> what? her hand kind of almost wither as it turns yellow and starts to grow a layer of almost a coarse fungus. Furry growths expanding around her fingers as it just with withers and shrivels down to almost nothing. And you plunge through like the tile north of Resme where you were standing and you have two actions left. Well, you're seated now. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, thank God she came oh, back. I told you she'd she... come back. Oh my gosh. Uh, Crossock. Uh, throw a heel on Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Need a bunch of D8s, please. Here. I, I got tons. Givey. Here's one. Might as well use them. Six. Unamas. Oh, right here. Oh, it's... No. I, I, I'm not going to try to work with the average. I'm just going to add. Let's see, it's uh, 10, 20, 23, 23, and 8 times 7. 56. 6, 23, 56, 59, That's... 79 health back. That's a you good chunk. You are wounded one. Okay. Wounded. As you lay on the ground there, as you come back, feeling Rasheen's magic rush into you. Still better than dead. A lot better than dying, too, to be sure. Question. Am I still um, cursed? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I it's appreciate a, it, that. It's a good thought. It's it's a good a, thought. A, I, I figured I asked. Oh, uh, yeah. He's cursed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe well said. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think you're out, they pull you back in. Better. It's fine. That's a six. Scarlet's not done yet. Thirty-three. Thirty-three is a regular failure. You are stupefied too, and enfeebled too. I'm sorry. I told you not to do you it. Bear the curse. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Ah. Raz. Okay. You see her. You see Rasheen reappear, some, from seemingly nowhere, as if just almost dropping back into place. Reach out to heal Marshall and then recoil back. You know how phased Raz is by that right now. Zero. Zero. <laughs> just as he Raz where he is. He's just kind of in the corner of our little yeah, map. I've been hiding. <laughs> Raz is gonna go emanations. Um. <laughs> Is that what he does? Emanations. <laughs> he's thinking really oh, hard. Oh, yeah. Emanations. Um, he's going to... If I step... I don't know how this is going to work. If I step to here, if I can reach, and cast Urge of Doom, would that reach her around the corner? Would I have to Yeah, because your wall is, is one north of what it looks like it is, because it's up against the actual wall. Yeah. Because there's not a wall between and in front of Roshin. So... And you know exactly where it is, so you could absolutely dirge doom from there if you could. Uh, I actually could do dirge doom from where I was standing because I was right here, right? Um, yeah, she's big enough; she'd be within the emanation. Yeah, because so of her even, largeness. I don't even have to move. Perfect. Remember, folks, dragons die all the time. A lot of people die in the making, but you guys are the heroes that will kill it. I think the wall of force slid north one square. That's, that's where it's supposed to be. That's where it's supposed to be. Because he had it attached to the wall. It was an extension, so there, there wasn't supposed to be a gap. Okay. Um, I just realized it was a wall. And har harmonious dirge of doom and inspired defense. Okay. Uh, resume. You know what I was over here desperately asking for in my brain? It's just like, can you please dirge of doom? I've please. been waiting, but. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish it was sooner. Please. You're fine. That's fine, because now I get to do my things. Oh, oh, good, you're here. Now, everyone speed up. Allegre maximum. I Haste I'm on everyone. out of range of that. Yeah, uh, Trudy's out of range. That's fine. I'll take but it. But everybody else gets it. Yep. I have one action left. Oh, uh, no, I can't reach. No, I'm frightened one. That oh, no. Take uh, then, I'll, then I'll reach and I'll get him. Reach haste. A hey. Big haste. Yeah. Everyone's included. And as you feel this come over you, Tamati reappears uh, in the air above and a little behind Strymalura. At this point, barely even still clinging to any kind of a physical form here. 
so much, almost kind of similar to Resume as a, a humanoid eruption of fire. As she hangs in the air, she just cries out immediately. Oh! Why? What? This power is far more than I had imagined it even was Roshin. Stry Malura! Kill the damned elf girl! It's the one she can't let go of! Verum scopum! And she uh, casts a spell down towards you. Uh, I'm going to use arcane countermeasure. Okay. How about don't do that? <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Not gonna help, but that's okay. Whatever. Um, makes it's gonna it give have, me plus two. Does it have the attack trait? No. Dang. Does not have the attack trait, does not have a save. It still gives me, oh, it doesn't have a save. Nope. Okay. Um, and I would give you, with your uh, Recognize Arcana, the ability to recognize the spell you literally cast, she cast True Target on you. Oh, joy. And Trishik. Well, with a sudden surge of uh, the mascot is here. Machine's <laughs> <laughs> back, everyone! <laughs> We're gonna win! We can win! So between that and Dirge of Doom, despite the fear trying to push me back behind that wall, I'm gonna steal myself, pop up over the edge, and fire two quick shots. Okay. Shot number one is a four, which will definitely miss. And shot number... I don't know why I'm rolling something other than Malachite. Yeah, what are you doing, buddy? This is the, this is the fight. This is like the fight. You gotta bring your A game. Use all man. of the stolen fortune that you've yeah, amassed. exactly. To a two. Are you sure you've been stealing fortune? Well, are you sure? I mean, right beside you. He definitely stole it from me. You have two actions left. <laughs> no, that's uh, two actions. Two shots. You are hasted. You are hasted. I you're am hasted. Hasted. One I'm going to just hasted keep attack. shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Fire everything. Ah, Go for it. You just bouncing arrows off Another four. Is hide here. <laughs> you got to hit her at the minus 10, so we're 20 fishing pretty hard. Uh, just, uh, minus eight. Was it Agile? No. 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 They've never been. You've you made that mistake a lot, though. Yeah, yeah. It's because yeah. of your hand weapons are. It's understandable. Roll 20. That's Better. 14, but I mean, it's still That's a, that's a four after yeah. everything. Uh, Marshall, you awaken. Feeling this energy uh, kind uh, of feel you. I'm just way too used to the claws being agile. Oh, oh, oh. kind of gets him back up, and then he notices that he feels a little small, peppy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just you know, he's like, because he's hasted too. So I'm like, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> st 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 stand up, obviously, and because I have second wind. Well, round two, make it. What you you can, you have the re rage treat? Yeah. That's what, what a time win. for it to That's come That's what back. he retrained for. <laughs> That's what I retrained for. Hide that for. was the retraining. That was the retraining. There's a reason why we did this. He can rage again. Ah! He can rage. Mega Marshall. Back to large. He is Mr. Fahrenheit. Never give up, Marshall. All right, you have one plus one actions left. I'm going to be uh, the Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning. The, I'm learning. Uh, not, not within push range. range. Well, with that, um, with my last action and my haste action, when in doubt, just keep smacking. Two swings. Two swings. Swing right number one. one. Ooh, juicy. Uh, I'm still cursed. So throw her wing up against this again. Uh, math. 40. Forty-four. Forty-four will hit. Ooh, oh, that's all that matters. The We're on the, the wing board, here. kids. Marshall's coming back, and he is angry. He is not a happy camper right this now. This is rage. Your everyday rage. Yeah. Oh. This is turbo rage. Turbo rage. rage. So thirteen. 32. 32 points of damage. All right. And then smack number two. Let's go for it. 16 on the die. Not bad. Minus technically six because in people. So 10 plus 37. 37. The second swing. You stagger with the first, but the second just doesn't catch her. Ah! And uh, she is going to flap her wings as much as she actually paddles backwards. Propelling is absolutely going to provoke. Propelling herself back a little diagonally about 15, 20 feet out into the more into the center of the lava and away out of everyone's reach. Get here. back over here. That's a four on the die, so no. You take a swing as she, uh, she falls back. It's going to be far enough away, uh, a little more north, so she's out of reach of the platform. And as she does, again, this fire wells up in her mouth, and she opens it and unleashes a torrential blast of magma. Uh, that's going to hit Marshall, Resme, and Roshin. Give me reflex saves. Yep. 
May I get a cover bonus from the wall of force? That's really yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll, I give think... you, I'll give you a cover. I'll give you plus one. Re uh, resume pretty in the open. You're at the corner of it. I'll give you the. I'll give you light cover. Oh. Uh... And this isn't against AC, right? It's no, reflex. It's reflex safe. That's what I thought. Minus two because I'm clumsy. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I. Mm. 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 Oh, plus one. Sorry. All right, uh, Rasheen. 33. 33 will fail. 37. 37 will fail, Marshall. 37 also. 37 will also fail. Um, obviously not. Resume because you're made to fire. Uh, the other two, you're going to take 33 points of fire damage. Minus 15. Minus 15. So 18. so 18 points of fire damage and some bludgeoning damage. I am resistant to that. Yay. <laughs> it is a much larger number than the fire damage. Is it precision? No, it's rocks. It's the opposite of precision. The furthest possible thing. Uh, 35 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Two. And again, this magma is... Uh, one, two of you already coded is going to code over You said you how again. much bludgeoning? 32. Uh, and There's a lot of math right now. Hold yeah, on. a lot of... It's multi-attack to two things. You have two different resistances to. Okay. You're all going to have your speed reduced by 10 as well as this magma kind of clings to you. And as she blasts this, kind of pedaling herself, again, as much with this beat of her wings as she is by actually swimming backwards to the magma, and turn her head up to Tamati, some distance up in the air. The unmitigated gall for you to return here! Rishin. Ah, uh, Didn't even use the true target. <laughs> Hate you, Mom. Star Lord's like, I'm not doing what you tell me, I don't care. Ah. ah, and she's gonna just kind of wordlessly scream as she's trying to focus through this ringing that's going through her head um, as she tries to gather a ball of dark energy in her hand. Um, so I'm trying to kind of try to cast an eclipse first. See if I can break Stupefied. it. It's a 14 on the check, goes okay. off. Um, fling this ball uh, behind Strymalore where it explodes yeah, into this web of darkness. Cavern, of space. Massive space. She's going to try to leave Tamati out of the blast. So Tamati is, is like 60 feet in the air. She is way up reaching things. She's hanging um, out with me. Well, not 60. She's probably like uh, 30 or so. Okay. Uh, she's far enough up that you can <clears throat> cast it down into the magma and be perfectly fine. Perfect. That's why I need D10s. And I need a reflex save, I assume, from Yeah, Tumblr. reflex save, yep. She's frightened, ooh, no. Um, as this eruption explodes behind her, uh, she's a little distracted looking towards Tamati, but that kind of helps her out as that's the direction this blast is gonna come from, and I'm gonna use a villain point. 32. It's a fail. Oh, noise. You rolled a three to a two. It Ooh. happens over here also. It There's failed by damage. one. <laughs> Frightened. Woo! <laughs> the bard saves. All right. This bard also saves. has cold damage. Yep. Definitely weak to it. This is not going to feel good for Stramalura. Three, six, ten, twenty negative damage. And let's see, 18, 22, 26, 52 cold damage. <laughs> Ow. Okay. The clip burst is a very fun spell. And again, it, I'm pretty sure it's more than 52. You see her recoil? Yeah, definitely more than 52. They're going to see her recoil as she takes this hit, uh, distracted by Tamati's reappearance as this just blasts her. Uh, you're going to see frosty rhyme rip across her back and the wings as she like quickly kind of shudders, almost like rolling the one side and the other in the magma. Uh, to stave off the freezing cold, but it's a significant blow she's taken. Yet still, Stramalur is a powerful dragon. You're definitely putting some injuries on her, but she is nowhere near through. Um, Roshin is going to uh, stride over to Marshall. Actually, do I have to be next to him to cast this? Do you have a reach? No, oh. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, ranged touch. Um, so, hasted action, stride over to Marshall. Quickened, air walk. Go get him, boy. Ooh. Well, maybe Stupefied quickened air walk. Check. That's a two. 
Try to focus. And Shoot just... the locus! Neuralgia spike. Can't manifest the spell. Raz. Mm. Mm. I'm going to keep this up as long as possible, Marshall. Once again, be careful where you step. La la de frack. And another wall of force extending directly in front of Marshall, going north as far as it can go. <laughs> <laughs> Vertical version. Bridge just, building. Bridge, bridge, bridge. How many freaking kids? Are you spontaneous? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bard. So that's Bard. 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 That's my last that's one. That's so all I have. It's going to be directly, yeah, 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 yeah. Right you there. The landing good. right there. As Marshall, you see this kind of glimmer roll out in front of <sighs> you here. He's kind of <laughs> he's kind of huffing and puffing here. He's like, like. He's made the force bunker. Resume. <sighs> I'll build the boss arena. <laughs> <laughs> um, Resme has a fly speed. Um, so Resme is going to. Uh, do I have a sixty foot cone there, or do I need to step up a little? Um, yeah, you're within sixty feet for sure. Sixty feet's a lot. You absolutely have to sixty. Feet. Oh yeah. In Friga Maxima, <laughs> and I'm gonna throw another cone of cold on her. Give me a reflex save. Oh, that's much better. 47. Oh, that's a, that's a crit success. She's already ducking down the magma from the eclipse burst. Uh, and then I'm going to move back behind the wall of force because it just seems like an awesome idea right now. Seems smart. Wall of forces are awesome. And as uh, Tamati just kind of hovers in the air here, not really sure exactly what to do, looking down, still just furious with <laughs> Roisin. What is the range of this She is going to uh, just fly, almost like a specter, around to nearly directly above Roisin, as you see this flaming visage of hers turn down She's towards... 60 feet up, right? She's 30 feet up. Which is within your reach. If you want to attack my opportunity, you use it on the dragon, which you backed up already. You don't have it back yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, right. She's going to fly in and... Watch me, mother. Watch what I can do. Look down <laughs> at proud of Resume. <laughs> Digitus Mortis, be gone! And, uh, oh, point... I'm going to arcane countermeasure that <laughs> shit. <laughs> point with a finger. As you see a single beam, almost a thread of black energy shoot out. Towards resume, make me a fortitude save. Oh, it's my least favorite save to make, but at least I get plus two. Plus three, I guess. Oh, man. In, in the tray. Yeah. In it's hard sometimes to bounce. <laughs> oh, that was the time to do that. Mm -hmm. well, uh, oh. It's going to be a 43. 43 is a regular success. Oof. You will take 35 points of negative damage. From I the can of actually death. take that. Good job. Well, I'm shoot. almost dead, but not there yet. Well, it's really good it didn't. Would 35 more have killed you? Well, or of knocked course you down? it would have. Yeah, duh. Well, it's a good thing you made that save. I mean, she's a squishy. I would I, expect that. I, I, I found the Breath of Life card and moved it to the top of the pile. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's definitely okay. important. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you failed that one. So, uh, chic. Do I know that there's now another platform? Not, I mean, Rez he, is telling you as he casts it where he's yeah. casting them. So you have a general idea of where the invisible platform is. Um, you don't know the exact specifics, of course, but you know there should be a pathway north of Marshall running out the side of the chamber. I trust what Raz says. You can always trust what Raz says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't purposely leave when you When has Raz ever been wrong? So the, uh, bow, the bow is not really working. No. Zero successes so far. But according to Raz, I can get to her. You can drop 50 feet. Take no damage. You need to move to in front of the, no the vertical wall. Mm -hmm. And then drop is two actions. <clears throat> Dropping is an action. Three action, let go. With a cat fall, I guess. You can, you well, make you drop, dropping of the 50 move. feet onto a wall of forest is going to be a freaking action. All right, how about <laughs> this? How about this? Two actions, take a moving start across the wall, and jump to land in front of her and attack her. Okay. Still haste. two actions to jump, which will yes. leave you with one plus one as you land in front of her. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, That'll work. Give me an acrobatics check. 
I know it's normally athletics for jumping, but you're trying to pull some stuff here, so. <laughs> well, uh, I'm pretty good at it. With Be the hasty. Nine on the die, I'm pretty sure I can jump 20 feet. Uh, 25. Jump out from a craggy 34. wall, 20 feet out, 50 feet down onto an invisible platform in front of a dragon in a lake of magma. 34. It's a little more complicated Hello. than jump 20 confident. feet. confident. That's a 34. Well, you do it on 34. You jump down, you can land right up next to Strymalura with one plus one action left. And we're going to give her a couple of claws because the bow's just not working. Arrows don't really seem to do anything. Maybe it's all the heat. Maybe it's the thick hide and the armor. Yeah. But let's see what claws can do. I mean, little column A, little column B, probably. There's a reason Dragon Slayers don't use arrows. Yeah. yeah. There so, is an item literally called the Dragon Slayer arrow. <laughs> he doesn't have it. Does a very she? specific I arrow. One. I don't know. So, that's drawing a pretty that's long a bow. 30. 30 uh, as you land is not going to hit. And she's uh, almost at first not going to notice you here. Uh, but she barely gets to, like, throws the swing up in time for this first haphazard strike. So it doesn't have it for the second. And now I'm balanced. Ooh. 19. Okay. So, so 15. So that's uh, 27, 42 to her flat footed feared. Absolutely hits. Oh. And there uh, you as go. you connect with her. Just the scorching heat of her body is going to cause you to take uh, 14 fire damage, so nothing through the resist elements. You're welcome! I assume she's chaotic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have to ask because of the rune, but the I The dragon is very she's much chaotic. chaotic evil, yes. Your time to shine. <laughs> but I, I still mean, get this bucket of dice. Bucket of dice. God, so stupid five is really bad timing. Ten. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. It was the heat of the moment people. we all forgot we about did the what curse. we had to do. Yeah. I mean, you lose the barber. I should have left me. it for... No, I should... Yeah, I should have left it for you. 39. 39 points of damage. Rushing solid. That's what wands are for. I panicked. I have rushing panic. That's fine. All right, as you get a solid slash in here, Marshall, you see Trashik go into battle. <laughs> that's... That's my boss. Well, first things first. <laughs> so That's why I work for that guy. <laughs> I work for that guy. So the first things first, uh, he's going to psych up and get some temp hit points back because he definitely needs them. Um, and then, Miss Roshi, I'm going to need my D8s back pretty please because I'm definitely going to battle potato because I have continual recovery. That's uh, 10, yeah. still has yeah. 10 minute cool. 10 minute oh, cool never mind. Yeah. Well, never mind then. I can still give you the D8s back, though. I mean, <laughs> not now, later. Okay. So I, 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 need them I get 11 temp hit points back. Uh, well, it's already feared, right? Don't heal me. This frightened one, yes. Okay, just making sure. Well, it um, sun charge. Yeah. There you go. It, <gasps> this is right as I'm all running the way towards. Up. As I'm running towards it, I'm like, <laughs> I'm Boy, with, I sure hope there's ground here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm with you, boss. Demonstrably ground. There's the ground there. there. I don't know. You there's do weird stuff, There's a space between lizard. the two of you. Nothing like invisible platforms. Nice. Well, well, that's a, everything's ma- just turning up Millhouse. Roshin's here. Um, it's true. Math again. 44 again. 44 hits. That's Use all that matters. Used her wing deflect on her sheet. Ooh, I see some big numbers on that one. So 11, that's... 10, uh, 7. 21 plus 7, that's 28. Plus 16, so that's... 44. Okay. 44 with big red. And with my haste action... <laughs> oh. two oh. Hit him two again. You have one plus one left. Oh, I have two? Because yeah, stun charge only two. Oh, that's right. My bad. And you couldn't battle potato, so you actually got one plus one left. Oh, I'm just going to keep swinging. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh, that is a seven on the die, so, so I doubt that hits. Have a minus five. Uh, Roll a 20. Th- third time's a charm. 20s. Ah, that's a 13 on the die, so, so that's a three. three. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so no. I tried. That was, no, that was good. a good effort. You, you went in for it. Yeah, all in. Might as well. Um, Strymalura here, as the two of you reach up to fight her, uh, seeing Marshall, there's a Trishik here who is, I think, literally untouched at this yep. point. Uh, Marshall, who is pretty well injured, is going to focus her fury your direction. What does it take to make you stay down? And swipe with you with the horns again before she brings it around with a pair of claws. Oh, uh, boy. Swipe of the horn. And she's framed one now, so it's one worse than it was last time she did this. Yay. I think. You're fine. 42. You're fine. Just not a crit. crit. Not, not a crit. Not a crit, not a crit is what thing. we're looking for. Not a crit's what we're after. That's, that's what we want to see. Stop frightened. You're going to take 19 points of piercing damage. Yep. Oh, only 19. Okay. 
So um, Claw the First. You psyched out. No. Uh, Claw the First is just going to go absolutely That's wide. Right. I'm waiting Claw for the total worth it. The second is a natural twenty. So the first one. I'm just going to. I'm just going to tell you I'm down again. <laughs> well, you have fortification. fortification. Good, sir. <gasps> oh, oh that's true. this is it. This is my moment. Yep. You can re-roll that. You can. Yeah, it's a deep. Oh, hero I, point you can, I do have a hero. I Any forgot I twenty. <laughs> okay. Well, for the. Yeah, it's a d20 roll. You can do anything. It's a d20 roll. Roll a different die. Even flat checks. All right, so I, I, for, oh, I got to roll right. 17 or higher, kids. It's not a fortune mm -hmm. effect? This thing's no. busted. Oh, okay, cool. That is not a 17. No, fortune higher. effects are generally things that make you re-roll anything. Oh, not okay. quite. It was better, but not not what I needed. So Marshall is down again. Probably. Yeah, probably. Because I'm... Yeah. What do you have? It's going to be... It, is it more than 37? Yeah. Okay. 48 points of slashing damage. Marshall takes an unfortunate down. Which is, she puts Marshall do down. You, you are going to go to dying flag. three. Yeah. Mm. As do you, you go have down. Die hard by chance? No, not yet. And oh, then Strymalura is going to spread her wings and with a massive push lift herself up out of the magma. About 20. Five feet up in the air, which going straight up 25 feet is going to take her to... She is so large, she's like halfway out already, so that's going to be 10 feet above the ground, so out of traditional melee reach, but within range of reach weapons. And she's then just flying in the center of the chamber here, looking at turning her gaze down to Trishik. She just goes straight up. Um, uh, and calls out, you were unwise <laughs> to rise against me, just like that no. worthless king. <laughs> yeah, you're not putting the dragon on a tiny little riser. Did it move five feet to the north? It looks like it did. I think I think it's where it was. It's where it was? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, that's centered on the mini. Rushing. Dad, defy. All right. And she looks pretty injured at this point, and she's flying up, and I like, take a measure to kind of get out of reach here. She's, But Marshall also looks very bad. <laughs> Uh, Marshall's like not even moving at this. Dying three, like he's not moving. He's flatlining. I'll I'll say over to Roshin because I can see the the hesitation. Do whatever you did again. I have this pointing at Marshall. Mm. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Krasach, you... Stupefied. Yeah, I know. This is bad. That's a two. I lose it. She tries to focus, but this... The curse compounding with everything happening, she can't focus enough. Um... Get the magic out. All right. Uh, she's going to... Uh, one plus one left. Uh, I got one plus one left. Stride. Um, try to use an athletic rush focus spell to stride. It goes off. Okay. Focus point spent. Moderate curse active. Ends next to Resme. One action left. Hey there. I have used my quicken spell. I have. I've got nothing to strike at. And Tamati's like 30 feet above and you. And Tamati's 30 feet above me. Even if me. you wanted to punch your mom, she's 30 feet above you. You <laughs> might want to punch your mom a little at this point. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, Roshin, uh, oh gosh, uh, look up at, at mom. Don't you dare <laughs> try to demoralize. <laughs> All right. We have rebellious right. days. Yeah, we got the rebellious teenage Roshin here. Uh, that's an 11, uh, goes to a 36. Uh, oh. she... That would barely work on me. I don't think it's going to work on her. Yeah, is unfazed by that. Raz, the Mataz. 
No, 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 no. Roisin, we gotta have a talk about your mother. She's very, very rude. We're yes. fighting a dragon, <laughs> and she's trying to take you somewhere. <sighs> I'm trying to explain her priorities. They're all wrong. Uh, Can you please take care of Marshall. <sighs> He's so cursed. You already told me I can't do anything to him. No, you're. F- yeah, shoot, you're right. Raz, help over here. Help you with what? The three of you are just kind of behind the ball of forces. Yeah. And Stride Melora is just looking down at Trishik <laughs> and ready to do terrible things to him. Um. Shit. Shit. Um, Raz is very flustered. He is going to. What's that song? How'd that song go again, Rosemary? The one you told me. He's going to sing a. Oh, the one about the elf princess. Yes, the one about the elf princess to, to Resme specifically as he does soothe on Resme. Because I think she's the most hurt. I don't know who's the most hurt anymore because I can't. Probably Marshall. Well, I can't <laughs> target Marshall. Right. I'm yeah. not going to target Marshall. Yeah. I am. It's hard to say, but I look very emberish. I don't yeah. look very fiery anymore. She doesn't look very Resme. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, and I trust Resme. So it's a seventh level soothe. Oh. That's worth reminding, because I see some of it in the chat while you're rolling that real quick. One of the only house rules really have on second edition is I have removed redeem hero point to immediately be okay. Because, you know, Do we you have tense? a lot of stakes are interesting. That's fine. And you get a lot of hero points from chat. Because yeah. realistically, if Five. we could keep, just keep doing that, there'd be no insane. real danger here. I mean, I did get one. But you did get one. You can't use it to insta-stabilize, but you can use it to reroll the dying check if you need to. Five, uh, from Crimson 30. Nexus, Marshall, no dying. I mean, I'm, I'm going to use it at some point. <laughs> I kind of like my barbarian. 40 plus 28, so 68. Oh, that is very nice. Thank you. Hey, what I, um, one plus one? One plus one. Haste plus... Um, we're going to do this. And he's going to move... 15 feet to be on the platform. If I'm counting my spaces right. Well, like still in slow. front of Tamati or in front of Rasheen? Um, in front of Rasheen is 10, so in front of, so there. Yeah, that's something um, I mean, like on the plat on the floor. On the, the platform, yeah, of. right, right. Yeah, right there, so that's. That's 15. Counting for her. All those who oppose the hero of the breach shall, shall fall to this wonderful lady. Amen. You're not doing a good job of convincing me that. Uh, Dirge of doom. <laughs> you're going right with this is exactly what my mother said. <laughs> Resume. Uh, hasted action uh, to move past the wall of force so I can target the dragon. Okay. <sighs> Eat this, you stupid lizard. Uh, level seven magic missile. Pew, pew. That, yeah, hasted action, seventh level three extra magic missile. Strangler's pretty hurt. That's a lot of missiles. I think it's like 16 missiles. A bunch of do, freaking do you need more D8s? I need D4s. 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 I need all I mean. of the D4s. Hold on, here's. Thank you. There we go. Oh, thank you. And we have more here if you still need some. Four, five, six, seven, Isn't it nine, double nine, number 10, 12, of? 12, 13. Uh, you can roll half and double it if you want to. Oh, so if you want to roll a giant pile of D4s, I'm definitely Who not going to stop you. doesn't want to roll a giant pile of D4s? Most too. people, probably. <laughs> the, <laughs> the least satisfying. They're the least satisfying part. thing to roll, that's true. And to step on. <laughs> I don't know. I like rolling them. Yeah. I just feel like they don't roll. I feel like you just drop them and they're like, that's what you got. Yeah. They look cool. Actually, the Norse Foundry D4s work pretty well. They actually oh, yeah. they're they're have enough they map to actually tumble. The metal dice is for sure. I got over my fright in last turn. Oh, yeah. He, he's not as scared. Plus 21. How about 65 points of uh, force damage? Ooh. 65 points of force damage. That's tasty. Is an incredibly powerful strike. And Strymalera in the air here is going to wobble a bit, reeling back, almost like putting her four claws up, sort of like a, like a oh, peasant shielding their face defensively. These are going to blast through, you see now at this point, growing groups of holes in her stony scales as she is viciously wounded, but not it turns yet out I didn't roll enough D4s. dead. <laughs> Did you spend How many three reactions? Short? 
uh, four. Because it was 21 D4, I only rolled 16. It's physically, she's got 13. So it's physically possible those four D4s, you have to roll real good. All fours. Uh, that, nope. there's a four. It's perfectly average. Eight. Uh, it's another nine. Oh, did I, did I miss yeah. that? Okay, nine. I mean, at this point, just one more hit. One more hit. <sighs> Tamati, as you, uh, as Roshane kind of <laughs> put yet. your to interpose yourself here. Oh, this is ridiculous. After everything that I've put forward, everything I've sacrificed, everything that I've done to get you to this point, Roshin, I'll not have it taken away. Son this Prysidium! And uh, you and her disappear again. Are you serious? <laughs> Can I can I try to will save to There is no save. <laughs> Before she goes away as she's rambling, I just will you please shut up? <laughs> and then she's gone. So like, Mother, if you could Thank just you. wait for five minutes. <laughs> um <laughs> And you find yourself pulled again back into this void. But Tamari, even as the two of you kind of appear here, looks almost sort of hazy. She's put pulling her eyes together and has her hands up to her temples like she's in some kind of weird pain. And you hear that second voice again. Oh, unbelievable. He chose to come back. Trishik. Hey, I had nothing to do with this choice. <laughs> well. Hmm? Oh, I have something better than that. I'm going to haste it action, draw my bow, and shoot up at the exposed underbelly. You gotta regrip your bow, because you two-handed. One action, haste the action, shoot, leave you two left. Is that re, re Regripping a two handed weapon is an action. It's, mm -hmm. You can let go of it, it to swipe for free, but to re two handed. I thought it was one plus. I thought it's one plus one yeah. because I have to. Yeah, it's one plus one. You'll have to take on two left. I didn't no, know no, this no, was the bow. Oh, no, rip. this is free. It's got reload zero, so you can, right, you're not you can draw and fire and I didn't fire and draw and But a bow like... is a two handed weapon, and you currently have a free hand, and it's basically the same as drawing a weapon to re get your grip on a two handed weapon because you're just holding it. Right I did. Same thing know. Marshall has to do with his weapon. Still perfectly fine, fits into my yeah, plan. You'll have two actions left. So, uh, draw and haste it action shoot. For a. What's it? A plus 27. So, that's a 34. Yep, so my because I'm not using the composite bow. 30 I had to check. It's a 34. Four. And she's kind of defensive here is again gonna glance upon her scales. And that is perfectly fine because regardless of that, I'm going to draw a potion and feed it to Marshall. Can I do that? Or am I not beside him? Marshall's ten feet from you. You didn't it's kind of hard to see around the giant dragon on the table. You are, and when he shrunk down, to be fair, he could have been basically anywhere. You are ten feet from him, but he. Oh well, then I could have skirmish struck. You could, yeah, you could skirmish struck with the bow. It's easy. Step over, and pour the potion down Marshall's throat. No longer dying, and that is a greater elixir of life. So not dying three. Remember, <laughs> remember those handful of greater elixirs of life we got, and I'm like, hey, you should probably let me hold on to at least like three or four of those. Yeah, yeah. This this is why I'm holding on to those. Paying dividends, <laughs> man. <laughs> Did I do that? You are now wounded two, two. Which I marked, yep. But you are alive at how much is a greater elixir of life? Let me ask that. A greater elixir of life is 7d6 plus 18. 7d6 plus 18. You need d You don't. You need d6. I, I was about to say, this is true. We're talking 7 about 7d6 plus 18, my friend. It's the good one. So 12. That'll become 30. 32. 34. 38. 42 health. But the important thing is, you're not dying. This would have been the death die roll at the DC 13. You're conscious on your turn. But it's your turn, and you, again, kind of awaken to she pouring a potion in your mouth. <laughs> and Strymalora flying about 10 feet above you. Marshall, listen to me. For all that is the glory of the walls, throw that hammer. Very well. I stand back up. Drop my axe. That's free. Dropping oh. Big Red on the <sighs> invisible platform on the magma. I hate to do this. He, he just literally looks at Big Red. He's like, I love you, buddy. But <laughs> I gotta do this. Stand up. Drop my axe. Draw Boomy. Draw Boomy. One plus one actions left. Gives him a nice little twirl. And uh, Boomy is... Oh, he's greater striking still because I'm a dwarf. 
This is what the hero point was mm-hmm. for. <laughs> it wasn't about death. It, well, it was, <laughs> it but was. not yours. Every- ah! Forty something. <laughs> what happened? Yay! If I may, ladies and gentlemen. So Marshall is first as time he's, he's as it. he's grabbing it, the <laughs> like the leather strap of Old Boomy. He's giving a good twirl. He's kind of huffing. He's wheezing. He's really out of breath. And you just see like his, the veins hit similar to your mother. He, you see the foot like veins erupt, just out of pure passion and rage. And he screams, "I don't know where you are." But let me tell you something. Roshin is now family. My family. Throws the hammer and just goes through the dragon's maw, straight back out to Root's skull. It's a hammer. <laughs> that doesn't matter. He throws it really hard. <laughs> I'm Marshall. I don't need logic. As your next snaps back from this, Strymalura literally flips over, almost tumbling backwards to the air, and just plummets. Down into the magma. Boomy and returns. Boomy comes right back into your hand. Ha 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 if you're around, I hope you're proud. Oh, look at what he did. Roshin, as you're up here, now you can switch it. As you're up here, this pocket dimension, Tamati there. Oh, unbelievable. It's Trimalura. I told you we could do it. You're not good at listening. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I know, that's what you've been saying. You're here but now. It's impressive. Rasheen. Fine. You've got your time. They've saved a worthless city of worthless souls. Will you now let go? <sighs> Rasheen? Mother, you're not doing too well. Rasheen, where did you go? Krasach. What is happening? And as she looks back up at you, the color of her eyes kind of like glazed over to this strange yellow. And she looks deadly ill. Mother? I don't, I don't know what this is. This is you doing. This is... I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Uh, and you see her kind of lose height. And you see that in this void you're standing in here, this... View of the battle below you kind of disappears. To be, uh, subsumed by this just darkness. Her feet are literally sinking into this blackness, and, and around them is a patchy, almost hairy, yellow growth. And you see a couple of s- curling strands of a pale fungus sprout out around as she kind of sinks down into this. I don't understand. I don't understand. Mother, get out! You were supposed to make us invincible. The Somnus of Radisium! And she focuses and casts something and almost immediately withers back out of this vision. Uh, leaving you just kind of standing here with this patch of fungus in front of you where she once was. All right. That was... I hope she's okay. And it splits. And you see a hand reach up through it. It's definitely not hers. It's pale, almost bluish. Now the flesh somewhat mottled, almost like a corpse. But it reaches up and plants itself on the ground, reaching out onto the floor here. Half step back. Before you see a wave of blue energy pulse out from this spot and shooting up from this strange mat of fungus is a man. An elven figure. I like this already. He's clearly quite aged, but he has almost eerily similar straight white hair hanging back from his pale face. His eyes colorless. Almost just black. Not strange for elves, but something seems a bit off about this one. He's clad in intricately ruined and sigiled black garb run around his body. Amazing. He's so cute. What? 
uh, pardon my, my manners, uh, sir. This, you, you're the vessel. I'm the only one here. And she brought you to the Dreamlands. Brilliant. I couldn't have reached out to them myself, but I have enough to be able to connect to your being here, at least to speak with you. Fair enough. Who are you? Uh, I'm Roisin. I don't care about your name. Well... Who are you? Why are you the vessel? Why do you have my power? Your power. If I can speak with you now, it must be. But... I mean my magic, my the battle curse. It's the, the only power curse. that doesn't originate from Tamati. That must be how the chaos of the patchwork manifests on a material being. I should have foreseen that thought. I'll catalog it for later. What? It's not your. It, it, it's Milani's battle curse. I, I'm unfamiliar. Is this a god you worship? Is this what this? Signifies he kind of just points the rose in a street on your tabard here. Yes, yes, it is. I mean, I admit she's not the most well known, but no, no, I have my magic. What my magic and apparently chaos manifesting as some form of a curse, and admittedly, you have my apologies for that. It wasn't my intent. Uh, intent. Question How has it latched on to you? Do you have control of it? You direct its power. I have control enough to smash you in the face if you don't start giving me some answers. I forgot how fickle and irritable mortals can be. Fine. Irritable? Do you know what my day has been like? (laughs) I can't even begin to imagine. That's right. Mundane, I'm sure. (laughs) Wow. I just slaying dragons. Look. Dealing with... Uh, hags, like Surely you man. didn't choose this, but I wish to know why my power has latched onto you, but I... Oh, I'd love to know myself. S- suppose, it's evidence, that useful. you have your own questions. Yes, yeah, so let's start with who are you. A name will do fine. In this situation you find yourself in, you care for names. I find them very convenient. Omareth is what I was called, I suppose. I haven't been addressed by that title in centuries, if not millennia. Well, today can be a fine time to start, Omareth. All right, a question for you then. You control the power. You shape it as you see fit. Of course. Has it grown within you? Uh, incredibly. Thought, I finally connected to Stella back to Thrushmore. Are you, are you, you don't seem Ustalavik. You look different. Were you traveling through? Ustalav? No, I'm from Galt. Galt? How has this reached you? It must be this connection. That other woman, that hag, is she your mother then? You're a changeling, I see it in your eyes. Yes, of course. All right, hypothesis. Somehow your hag blood connection to the dreamlands has allowed this to manifest in you, regardless of your proximity to the Stella. I don't understand exactly why. But at least I finally made contact. Well, but then this is... This is yours? This is... Indirectly. Uh, I suppose what, is, what is the Stella? The <laughs> Strella? I'm afraid that most of your questions would be unwise to answer. Huh. You may think it's uh, cruel, perhaps, to withhold this information from you, but the true source of your power is best left unknown. Probably would understand it anyway. The problem is that you would. I fear too much. It doesn't require understanding. Names have power. I suppose it's not entirely unwise of you to ask for mine. Some of them more than others. Fine, fine. You win, you win. You, you're out. Look, you're the first connection me. that I've had from the patchwork. And I honestly haven't been bothered to keep track of years. But by my passage of time, it's been centuries. Question, what year is it? Uh, 47... 20. 20. Are you sure? You're from Galarian. Galt, this is the same Galarian, yes? Uh, it, it is a Galarian. It's, it's the only one I know of. It's barely been 70 years. How? Hmm. Oh, are you like that man in Peoc fellow who spends more time than actually passes? <laughs> Unfamiliar. But I suppose the flow in the material plane is different from that of the patchwork, and that's to be expected. You're the first contact I've made back on the material plane, and I've spent centuries trying to reach out to it. Funneling my power through the Stella, trying to latch on to anything. You're my ticket home, maybe. Hmm. 
Well, I'm certainly one not to leave someone stranded, especially not in a place such as this. What can I do to help while I'm here? <laughs> if I had the answer to that, I wouldn't have to ask you. Well, oh, I, I thought you were just meet. being nice. No, this contact here your mother's brought us to in the dreamlands is the only thing I've been able to figure that's worked. She's quite powerful, as are you, I imagine. Yeah. She uh, can teach me a thing or two, I suppose. Without we her, both got a bit of a temper. I don't know. There's much I'll be able to contact you in the future. But know this, your power will continue to grow. It will grow within you, and that is dangerous. You need to keep it in check. Especially if it's manifesting as some kind of curse of battle or whatever. What are your symptoms? Uh, wounds healing by themselves. Constant ring of battle in my ears. Scent of blood and steel everywhere I go. Uh, when I get angry, I get very angry. Uh, violent, uh, stronger. Oh, and a uh, connection of uh, font of divine magic that lets me rend the sunder of the, the fabric of reality. And your connection is to the birth of a blood hag. It's my coven with a night hag who's brought you here to contact me. All right, I understand, but that may have exposed you more to the Patchwork's curse. Does she have another night hag? I don't know. Oh, fair enough. I haven't seen anything of the material. She has at least one forever. less than she had before. Look, the power within you, again, I cannot overstate how dangerous it is. You cannot let anyone know about this meeting or where it truly comes from, and you must stay away from the Stella. Don't travel anywhere near Ostalav under any circumstances. It's a terrible place. I wouldn't go there anyway. If it's reignited, I don't know that I can stop it. Not alone. Don't travel to Kazmaron. There's a city there in the desert that will corrupt you beyond recognition. It may pull you through to the patchwork with me. You, know you that's do the, not want this. You know that's the other side of the world from Ustalov, right? I'm aware. The Stellas focused their power there. That's where we came through. Uh, unless it's been moved, the Necronomicon will still be there. Don't seek it out. Wait, why would I go look for a book? And Kazmir, that's on the other side right of the here. planet. Go I'm pretty, I'm it. fairly certain I'll never have any business going anywhere near Kazmir. Look, continue doing whatever it is you do. Keep yourself and your mother alive. I'll take this knowledge and continue experimenting and see what I can do. Well, of course I'll protect my mother. Did you? Was that you who withered her away into a patch of fungus? Indirectly, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> is everything you do indirect? I'm, honestly, what? again, this is experimentational. I'm... I have no idea how this power is connected or how it's channeled into you, how it'll manifest. You're filling me with confidence right but if now. But if this is your will, he posted uh, points of the fungus on the ground, if this is your will manifesting, this might be worse than I thought. I was kind of hoping my will would look a bit nicer. Well, not so much yours as much channeling through you. It's not mine either. Don't worry. Again, I can't tell you more. Yep. <sighs> You're... I'll, I'll see what I can learn here. Can you allow me a touch. Perhaps I can make a more permanent connection with you. <laughs> Let me touch you a little bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> At least we can shake and hands. He just kind of reaches out and touches <laughs> in the center of your chest. Are you serious? Shake hands. This right. way. Take Fine. hands. <laughs> it hasn't gone out of fashion, I promise. The last man I watched try to grab hold of someone. This corn will casting down the Briarstone Witch from the tower, protecting the world from the Starseed's influence. This is friendly? It's a matter of greeting, yes. Fair. Friendly greeting. Polite greeting. You should try it sometime. <laughs> With this knowledge I have now, perhaps if I can make contact later, I'll be in touch. And raises a hand and you are immediately back down in the cave. Are you serious? <laughs> Roshin! Resume jumps on you. Ah! Oh, did you see it? Oh, hit the dragon in the mouth with me, hammer, pull me! I did see it! I saw it was amazing, Marshall! In all fairness, it was the boss's idea. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, I'm so I glad to see you! I told you, all you, told you have to do is throw a hammer. <laughs> Problem Goodness gracious. Oh, well, we're glad you're back, are you okay? I don't know. Oh my god, you and look so pretty! As you're kind of looking at her here, you would notice a subtle change. She was a changeling. Uh... We change all the time. Heterochromia is the thing that kind of manifests in a changeling. I imagine you've had one red eye and one normal eye. Probably. Yeah, since, since birth, don't actually. The red yellow. eye is a dull yellow now. No. Instead of red. Looking You're almost a hazel, but a little oh. bit more yellow. What happened? What? Your eye's different. Here, sweetheart, look. My eyes? I'll hold up a mirror, because I always we, have a mirror Can we do this me? out of the lava it's, pit? It's, is that an infection? <laughs> yes, it's, it's, please let us get off please, of the wall. Please, the dragon, the, the dragon's right. dead. Kavar's safe. We're still in a room filled with 
Magma. Well, like, the magma's not going anywhere, is it, Travis? It's really hot I'm, in here. I'm just picking up Big Red, and I'm getting off the wall for it. Sheik and uh, Marshall, as you, well, you probably would have made your way back to the landing while Rasheen was speaking with Alvarez. You, from your position, just far enough out in the magma here, could see across to another landing on the southeastern side of the chamber. And you see a literal mountain of money. <laughs> Spudding throughout with various artifacts, weapons, and with a tiny jeweled crown sat atop. I just kind of pick up Trushik's jaw from Dibs. the ground. Dibs on the crown. Uh, give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Trushik, are, I'm gonna are you smiling? Go bop, all the bop, way around bop. the room. Dragons do have hordes, after all. Oh my god, that is so you know pretty. What? I'm gonna follow him on the wall. You're saying I'm his on name the a roof. lot. You have to go around the wall. He can climb. He has a I can climb. climb. Yeah, but go uh, on the you, ceiling. You can go around the rim of the roof. Climbing ceiling, on the ceiling is a is, master of athletics. It's gonna be difficult. At least save me something nice. Around the room. Yeah, then. I go literally like whoop straight to it. You have so to go around. As soon as you come back, you see Trishik and Rez making their way over <laughs> to a further island some hundred feet across this caldera. And if you try to be like, wait, where are you going? Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Come on, Sheenie, you want to go? Well, I suppose you're very, you're very warm, no, Resme. It's okay. Uh, she'll snap her fingers and uh, she'll drop back down to the ground and she's just Resme again. Can you dismiss that? Because you lose your fly speed if you do, by the way. Uh, I, it's a minute. I thought it would already be gone. But uh, it's probably gone spent, by the time she gets back. We spent a while waiting for you. It's probably gone by the time she gets back, for sure. You'd be back normal, uh, Resme. Oh, Roshin, uh, I figured since it's been that kind of day, I just pour out my stat. Pull out my stash of dwarven ale. Oh, like, give me some of that, uh, please. I really uh, need it. We we need it. And we do, I do the whole cross arm. We'll guys, cross arm guys, <laughs> we're doing, so there's lots of treasure over there. Approximately how many items could Here's be my bag. Away Fill before someone got over there? <laughs> <laughs> as you arrive, and uh, as the two of you first arrive at this horde here, uh, it is a like Scrooge McDuckian heap of mixed I love that description, by the silver, way. Silver, <laughs> gold, and platinum coins. Can I have a swim with, speed for gold piles? With <laughs> priceless works of art, sculptures, artifacts, uh, even kind of laying across the back of this, a few uh, elaborate works of scrimshaw across magnificent bones, even some framed painted art sealed up inside something to protect it from the heat wrapped up. There a gemstone studded throughout the pile here. Are we Raz solve does mystery? have a swim speed through piles of gold. I don't know that <laughs> even with of. all of our bags that we're going to be able to put that in it. Do you know that this is the moment I've been waiting for? All right, so. Oh, Mr. you could Trishik. make a box out of rock and shrink it down and take it with us. You can't. You shrink an item. You can't no, no, no. shrink the box. What I'm gonna do? Box oh. of items you can't shrink down. But it would just idea get and stuck question on the at the same time. Okay. Uh, Gord is house. Gord shrinks items inside Did of Gord the shrink. Gord house. Put oh. things in Gord house. Everything in house. We shrinks. have lots of houses. Okay. All right. We I mean, even have the key. We you, have the key too. You want to deploy? You can switch to a comp list. You want to deploy switch the Gord the house song. on an island next to a lake of magma to stuff it with riches? I'm not gonna stop you. Cooked house. That's, uh, Cooked and it's house. a pretty big ledge here. You can get it some 30 feet back from the magma, but you're gonna have to be uh, quick about it to be certain. Mm. All in all, I'm just gonna list you some things here. You got a hoard of 24,000 silver pieces. Are you kidding me? 2,100 gold pieces. Mm. 170 platinum throughout. <laughs> Another 5,500 golds worth of gemstones and various art objects. So I would like an anarchic rune for literally everything. Like as as it was, Raz is already counting stuff out. This is a monumental <laughs> dragon's horde. Crazy. Raz can so look at it and get an approximation of how many coins are in the pile. He's like, oh yeah, there's like. 3,000 coins Raz, in the pile. stop counting and shovel into the house. He already counted. <laughs> he has an eye for numbers. I took That's that feet. Oh, hey, there you I go. I took that feet. Oh, there you go. Let's look at it. 3,000, let's go. Yeah, Marshall is just taking You would be able to just look at it and tell there is about uh, 27,000 coins in this pile. Uh, not counting gemstones, art objects, sculpture. 
There would also be a couple of other items stuck throughout that would show up to a casting of Detect Magic. Yeah, yeah. There would be an amulet, which, let me get the description real quick. I won't be able to identify because I can't roll above a four. There would be an amulet, which is a, a single circular piece of gold centered on a surprisingly thick, for jewelry, chain, which supports five differently colored Scales from various chromatic dragons. Huh. Ooh. Ooh, sounds very neat. I like Red. It. That's just a necklace. Green, a blue on one side, a white, and a black on the other from the golden pendant. Roll one at me. a time. Roll me a. I will go Arcana. Yes! It's dragon. <laughs> I would assume so. Nice. I got really excited. I'm sorry, guys. Way too excited. <laughs> you need to calm down just a little bit. That's a six. It's higher than a four. You did it. It is higher than a four. Are you going to hero four. point this? I'm thinking about uh, it. Do, well, do it. Let's do it. No, it's fine. No, channel, no. channel your inner derp. Yeah, channel like derp. the derp. Do it. Do it. Yes. Yes. Do it. Oh. Peer pressure. Get a one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you didn't use it in the dragon fight. Might as well use it now. <laughs> 20. 20. Hey. Nat 20. Nat 20. Critical success because you get the details. Give me all See? of the details. Was it worth it? It's a dragon scale amulet. While wearing it, you will have resistance 5 to acid, cold, electricity, fire, and poison. If you take damage from any of those types of energy from a dragon's breath, the amulet will begin to glow and the resistance against that damage will be quadrupled to 20. Not just for the attack, but for the 10 minutes after. Ooh. I'm putting it on. Uh, I believe that would be a martial thing. If yeah. you are subjected I'm putting it on for the moment. to a dragon's frightful presence, the thing she did, you get to roll twice and take better. And once per day is two actions. You can command the magic inside this to inflict the terrifying presence of a dragon upon all who would stand against you. All foes within 60 feet have to save against a frightful presence. Okay, so what if you just had two Ookabookas? Yeah, this what if you did? I mean, pretty please. Yeah, no, that's perfect. This gives you, is basically, it, it's similar. It's mm -hmm. a 60 foot everybody in the area. Yeah. A DC 34, frightened one and a success, two on a failure. Because I think the failure. beard beads are like a 28 or 29 Yeah, this is, they're DC. much stronger. Yeah. This is literally, a, it helps with your will saves, it helps with your reflex saves, no, it's and awesome. it gives you more fear. Oh. It did not save the person Strymalur got it from, <laughs> but, <laughs> but maybe you well, will fare better. of course better. you can have it. Strymalur is dead. Are you, so. are you sure? Dead. I, don't, I don't know what, it, it's pretty, I don't know what it does. No, but. no, give me a minute. I'm wearing it so that I can get a feel for it, and then yes, it's totally yours because it's, Totally suited for you, but give me a minute. She's just wearing uh, it because she wants additionally, to. Additionally. Fair, fair. You find a rune stone set amongst the horde with an incredibly intricate triangular emblem. I'm going to guess anti-magic. The anti-magic rune that Scarlet Emberbeard <laughs> traded Strymalura. Oh, what a surprise. Along with the crown of Sagarok that rests atop her horde. Definitely putting the crown on. The crown itself is non-magical. Doesn't matter. But uh, it fancy. is. I mean, it yeah. is very, very intricate and valuable. Well made. Resume's set. like I'm queen of Sakura now. <laughs> Stupid idiot. <Yeah. laughs> there is one more artifact. There's more amongst this pile. Oh no. There is a, a massive battle axe set into the pile with runes you have never seen before. Marshall kind of draws a little in bit. The blade. Ah, uh, I, I carefully examine it. Oh my goodness. It's it's beautiful. Are you sure you've never been here before, Marshall? I, trust me, I, my craftsmanship wouldn't make anything this gorgeous. Make me an arcana check. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Queen of Sago Rock must look at this for a moment. <laughs> this whole time seeking her ass, I just kind of whispered coins. Roshin, went to her head pretty quick, don't you think? That was, yeah, it makes uh, sense. She's like 19! Wow, dude. Dang. Do you see? This is a plus three 
greater striking, Go on. flaming, ancestral echoing, great X. Say ancestral echoing again. Ancestral echoing. That's for dwarves, by dwarves. Another one of the ancient runes of Sagarok that doesn't really uh, exist. Takes up two spots. Takes up two spots. So rare, basically unheard of. So what? What does? I. You may please answer this for me, since I'm still not exactly super Pathfinder educated. What exactly does the ancestral echo thing That's do? What I'm to. Yeah, I don't oh. know why you what that, that does. does. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I know what it is because I just. So the first the thing is not greatly helpful for you, ironically. If you wield this weapon, the wisdom and the skill of its crafter and all who have wielded wielded it before you flows into your mind. Okay. Your proficiency goes up one step, but up to a max of your highest proficiency with anything. Okay. So you already have max proficiency with it. Okay, so like someone who is... Someone who is okay. not, not as not proficient would get a step yeah. up. Okay, right. so that doesn't really do So like if I me. wasn't trained in... If, so if I wasn't axe. trained in axes, I could pick up the axe and be just trained. as trained in axe as as whatever else. Or if I was you were trained, at. you would be an expert. Gotcha. Etc. Makes sense. Wow. Additionally, maybe Rasheen then. No, well, you no, have no, no, no. this uh, knowledge within your head. Uh, your head. You, for this weapon specifically, are now an expert in lore dragons. Hmm. I mean, but I mean, I'm an expert in giant talk. Remember. <laughs> But a it's, real expert this time. But I'm a real based expert. Based on each uh, crafter and whatever they imbued into the ancestral echoing room. Hmm. You know. Oh, this one actually. Does this one take? Oh, it does take two slots, right? It does take two slots. So, so this is full with a plus three with ancestral echoing flame. So it basically is a plus three with greater striking, fire, and. Ancestral echoing. And inscription echo. So your attack modifier goes up by one and you get a bunch of cool bonuses. This crown is really and good. You could replace the ancestral echoing room with I don't know, keen and shifting. Uh, I mean, that's what I was going to you, ask. Or you could take the, or you could leave the beautiful dwarven artifact and take the major potency rune and put it on your weapon. Mm -hmm. could, could, I have, could, could I have? Can I have that one? We could put the runes on the really cool looking axe. Or you could put the runes on the really. I mean, but I'm, regardless. Big red though. Yeah, I mean, get rid of big dual red. wield. It, <laughs> Well, <laughs> if it was possible, I would totally dual wield two big hander weapons. However, is Marshall is going to hold on to it as a trophy because, you know, it's Marshall. But, and then he's going to play with it later. But if you give it to me, I can use an axe and then I know more about dragons. I, I don't. You can't even lift it. That doesn't mean I can't you try. Know what? It's you bigger than you. But you know what? I really like it. Just tell you what, the next time you want to learn about dragons, just go ahead and pick it up a little bit, and then it'll tell you all about I'll it. How much you hold it? You, See? Just like the amulet. You except guys, the other way around. You guys suck. <laughs> you would shovel as, uh, as much of this hoard as fast as you can into your yep. gourd home, like filling the living area of the gourd home <laughs> with material wealth before Bags shrinking it back down as a like pumpkin tote for your ridiculous <laughs> amount of money that you now have. Our veritable dragon's hoard. Literal dragon's mm. hoard. A veritable dragon's gourd. And oh. 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 while we're unclear <laughs> the fate of Tamati, Omareth did seem to imply that she is still alive. She does not return I here. Hope she's still alive. She's now without Kalamit's heartstone, it seems that your nighttime conversations with her might have come to an end. Oh dear. What role she may yet still have to play is a mystery, but one thing is for certain. You have slain Stry Malura. And yes. nobody died. I'm so it was only ridiculously close. Oof. But, it's uh, not close at all because that, remember Rosemary. who has the special super healing. You're now officially the heroes of Rachel. Heroes oh kill dragons. You could oh my make God, your you're way so right. back out from Stry Malura's lair. Maybe sharing some of your exploits oh, uh, with Iolite, mm -hmm. if she wished to hear of it. Yeah. Oh, heck However, yeah. leaving the Temple of All Gods, I'm sure, forever. forever. Never coming back. Yeah. By the way, we're not uh, returning that room. But you are level 15. Yeah. Woo! So many things at level 15. No, and when we return... Legendary sneak. Next week. <laughs> Squid can never make me roll a cult, nature, 
ever again. Arcana forever. We perhaps have a few final things to wrap up before we put Kovler behind us, but the city is safe. The Scarlet Triads uh, over attempt to overthrow has been stimmied, and the dragon Stimied. Has been well and truly slammed. <laughs> Good job, Tim. I mean, nobody, did. nobody died. Uh, nobody I, died or... I will be honest. I was a little scared, but I gotta say, chat, thank you for all the last was... minute hero points. I really appreciate you that. Guys, <laughs> you guys destroyed my expectations. I was like, oh, it was going pretty bad at first. Wanna die in here. And of course, you know thank you. What's uh, signature spell teammates. now? What? Wall of Force. Wall of Force. Wall of yeah. Force. MVP. Wall of Force for the win. So now Wall I have force. Hey, eight you know casts what? of it now. Even Resist energy and haste. Did okay too. Thank you. All of you for being here. Of of course, we wouldn't be able to put this show on without you. Hope you've yes. enjoyed the climax of the fires of the haunted city, and we hope you'll come back next Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, noon Pacific, for another episode of the Two Perception Show mm -hmm. as we wrap up this chapter of the Age of Ashes. It's time now, my friends, for the next book to move forward. I don't know if I want to give the, the penultimate crown back. chapter of this adventure against. The Scarlet Triad. Ooh. Dude looks like a level three fighter. <laughs> <laughs> we have a thread that needs pulling. A red one that we'd like to get rid of, I'm mm. sure. Mm -hmm. At least I'm... It, there's no way we're going anywhere near Catafesh, which is the place the guy told me not to go. At least we hope. Catafesh? He no. didn't say Katapesh. Wait. He said Ustalov. He said Ustalov. Kazmaron. I'm sorry. Kazmaron. There's, there's so Let many Let me change my notes. He Good also night. told you the exact location of the Necronomicon. Everybody. And said, oh, don't, don't touch it. We'll see y'all next. Good night. Bye. Bye.